Yes, happy Friday here on Crafters TV, brought to you by Crafters Companion. My name's George Aikid, and for the next three hours, it's our launch day. It really is. We are getting excited about our new craft store case. A great game changer in the world of storage, in the world of crafting, which you guys absolutely love already. Some great deals for it for you today. Loads of you getting involved with the show, as always. Susie's on the socials. Georgianne, hey George Craig from Clearwater, Florida. Donna, hey there, crafters. Sue, hi everyone. Barbara, hello everyone. And of course, we are joined by the main man himself, Craig Laird. How are you doing? Good. Good, How good, things? good. Yeah, not bad, thank you good. very much. Really you, looking forward to this You've one. had a busy day, mate. Yeah, if, if, if by about like 10 minutes time my eyes start to go a bit like that, uh, yeah, it's been a busy day, but do you know what? It's been such a fun day all round as well. I know you had fun with Becky and Softer Side. Yes. Uh, myself, uh, Joe and Becky, we had fun in Wake Up Call and Craft Chat and Create. But here we are, uh, a little bit of a different launch day where we are going to be showing you something brand new. It's going to work so well with your other crafters companion storage, whether you're going to go for our florals, whether you're going to go for the cheetah, although I keep calling it leopard, it's technically it's cheetah, but you know, call it whatever one you want. It is going to work well and guess what? You've got me and George for three hours straight talking about them. You have indeed. Uh, Craig. Don't worry, no you don't, no you don't. No, you <laughs> you've, don't. Got, you've got bags under your eyes. Oh! Hey! Oh! Hey! The old ones are the best. Oh, the old ones are the old ones. Uh, guys, we are looking at a brilliant new launch. Uh, I'll start off first of all with a floral one because you, because you guys, you're loving it. It's the most popular out of the two. It's the best seller. It is the Craft Storage Case Crafters Floral, our distinctive floral. But guys, you're getting something incredible. Now, I know I, these are brilliant. Now, I do a lot of traveling. Um, and when you see good storage and a good travel case, you know you're in for a good deal. As always, you'd expect it to be nice and strong, nice and secure, sturdy. It's got the nice handles, zips are plenty, pockets and storage. And that's always key. And I love finding a cheeky little storage. You know when you buy something like a suitcase and it goes, put this in here. Oh, I've got my, my backpack has a little uh, zip at the top for your iPhone or for, like put your headphones through so you, but it doesn't get wet. But that is the most useful bag, a useful pocket. And I know that for some of you, this pocket here on the front is going to be the most useful pocket because it's so deep. It goes to the bottom there of your bag, which means you're able to store all sorts. Ink pads, you probably get some uh, dyes in there as well. Whatever you're using in your storage bag, it is a craft storage case, but let's be honest, Craig will tell you more about this later on, is actually, you can use it for whatever you wish, like we do with Totally Tiffany storage. This is gonna be another great example of great storage. That deep pocket at the front is always essential, and we've not even opened it up yet. So there you are, that zip on the front, and then at the side in the middle here. That's not it. That's not it. Uh, you've also got this incredible zip, and I'll tell you what, the zips go all the way round. So they don't just stop there at the sides, they're going all the way round, which means that when you open this up, you are presented with something. I mean, they, we filled it up for you with so much stuff. To just show you how much you can get in this case, let me just move the way back so you can see how big this is. It's got its hook at the top there, allowing you to hook this onto doors like this, for example. Ta-da, it can hang, this is where the cupboard's all fall, door, fall off. Uh, this is, is it all there for you? And we've not even started. If I put it back down here, I'll start off first of all with this first little part here where you've got the hook. Again, with that see-through pouch, it's essential. There's nothing worse when you are looking through bags and you can't get to anything quickly. Open it up with a nice strong zip. Inside, you can put whatever you want in there. It's big enough for ink pads. Uh, you can put, you can see you've got your cosmic shimmers in there. I mean, what you're gonna use for, use for yours is incredible. The only the other good thing about it, if I just flip this over, you've got storage on the back. So there's your little hook, but on the back here, you've got it here, big enough for your, uh, your uh, die cutting brush, you've got there for your scissors, for whatever you want, those elastic straps. If you were maybe doing a lot of traveling, hair brushes, you could put whatever you need into there. That's just one of the first storage. Then we move down to our second one again. In fact, these two are identical in size, nice and big, large enough for plates as well. We're going for junior plates in there, Craig? Uh, you, you might, I'm going to double check it just shortly. You might uh, push get the A4 plates in, but yeah. definitely the junior one. Definitely yeah. in there. So if you want to put storage in for your crafting items, I mean, you could put a tablet in there. If you've got kids, you can put tablets in there for them. Um, you could also put whatever you wish 
storage in there. You can, I, I mean, I don't need to tell you how good a storage case this is because you can see already how clear and how big it is. If it's getting a full set of daubers in there, you're in for a clear. You may want to, imagine you go on holiday a lot. Maybe you've got a second holiday home. This is going to be perfect to go from place to place. Uh, again, you can see these two large clear pouches, how good they are. They're nice and deep. They've got that zip across the top, meaning you can get in there loads and loads of storage. The final piece, the piece of resistance, is this little bit here. It flaps at the bottom. Now, this is perfect for pencil cases. And I'll tell you for why. You've got that zip there at the front. I'll tell you, put your money away. I'll tell you for free. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because you've got that zip there, again, nice and store. However, if I just do that there, it now comes off. You've now got a bit of storage which can transport away. So maybe you are into your watercolours, maybe you're into your pencils, maybe you like to do your drawings on the go. You're going, maybe you're going on holiday and you want to take some crafting items with you, perfect. Then you go out for a walk and you don't want to take your full carry case with you. Take this off, put it into your bag, put your pencils in there. Whatever you're using, your tri-blends, your markers, they're all going to get in there, which means you can put them straight into your backpack and you're not having to carry everything there. That incredible price of $29.99, $34.95, that is one option for you guys. Now, and, and this is what I mean about this, is you look at it and go, Wow, it's incredible. It's hard to find a storage case this big, which folds down so compact. And again, in no time at all, your scissors back in there, zipping it up, and it is you are ready to go on the move. Everything in there. A quarter of the stock on this one has gone, guys. Already, wow. and I'm not surprised why. That's the floral. Alternatively, maybe you want to go for a cheetah. If Debbie Robinson was ever turning, this, this, this reminds me of Debbie Robinson. It does, doesn't turning. it? Yeah. It does indeed. Um, this is an empty one, guys. So let me just show you again. You're getting everything there. You see, you get that pocket there at the front. Again, nice and sturdy. It's got the handles reinforced, that stitching. Again, it's going to look great. You pull your zip round again, and when you open it up, you're going to get everything in there already. Again, with that tearaway package at the bottom, tearaway zip. Uh, again, so much within it, and as well, storage there as well. And don't forget, when this is hung up, you've also got a storage pouch there on the back from when it's at the front. Again, that is the Cheetah one at £29.99, $34.95. And we look, we're talking about crafting, but we keep saying it, you don't just have to use these for crafting because there's so many uses. Um, I know toiletries, cables, I mean, loads of you saying how much you love this and how much this is great. Um, my little girl loved her shower. Thanks again, Craig. You see little Facebook Live, didn't oh, you you're there? you're very welcome. Uh, yeah, Nefertiti is saying, good day all. I love the cheetah. Um, Kathy says, I love it when they sell stuff in this pattern. I have the apron and love it. I have my own little collection of crafters companion stuff in this pattern. Um, Karen says, that would be nice to have you if you travel. I want to take craft supplies with you. Wow, I like that. That's Rebecca. That would be great for non-craft things as well. Great mm -hmm. for makeup. Well, I mean, that's a great little place to say, Craig. I mean, you don't just have yours for crafting. You have two of these and yeah. different uses for each. Absolutely. So we're going to have a look at the Flora one again. And, you know, we've packed our one with craft stuff. Just to, just to make it clear as well, yours comes empty. We've packed ours just yes. to give you an idea. And this is my one. I've packed it before the show with my bits and pieces. So before we have a look in this one here, so yes, uh, as George said quite rightly, he's gone through all the crafting things, the way you can store them, the compartments. So maybe you could have your paper crafts. If you're like Becky and you do a little bit of paper crafts and some soft crafts, you can maybe have a little bit of each but then maybe if you are going abroad because I've got a couple of them and I'm going to have one spare so when my mum comes down next week I sent her a picture of this one and I said to her uh, I'm going to give her that one because she's always out on her travels with uh, her friends certainly with the world opening up because it's going to be handy because under the seat of your plane if you're wanting to take them you don't need to do your big cases and that as well but then what about if you've got uh, a new baby we've got quite a few uh, new babies due in uh, Crafters Companion HQ over the next couple of weeks so maybe you are uh, expecting you've just had a baby and you want something really nice now nice now I'm not saying that there's baby bags out there that are plain and not exciting because there is but then you're not always going to find one really bright really fun and really vibrant as to what you're going to get here so the baby nappies some of the bottles the wipes all the accessories that you need to take if you're going out with your baby or your toddler what you could do as Joe says he would pack his with his tablet 
his charger, his, um, his, his battery charger, you know, the one that is uh, the power pack, the cables, all these sorts of things, you can keep them neat and compact. But as I say, so this one here is my one that I have packed when it comes to crafty stuff. Now, the front one, I've not put anything as of yet, but what we can do is go in, it's all wipeable as well, certainly on the inside, and as Joe, uh, George pointed out, you've got the brand on the inside, you've got the logo, but it is wipeable as well, which is perfect. But if we dive straight into my one, so what I'm then going to do is if I come in with mine, so what I've done is I've gone in with my gems and pearls and my embossing uh, powders, at the top here so that it's nice I can see instantly I've got my pearls at the top here what I'll do is if I come that way George for you mm. and uh, uh, sorry uh, we've got George we've got George and we've got George I just so confuse you. camera George uh, what I'll do is I'll go this way so you can get a better view that you go so what I've got here is I've got my gems and my pearls I kind of sprayed them out so that I've got my jet and my pearls I can see my gems, but I've got some of my embossing powders here at the side. And then because I've got lots of my ribbon that I like to use, I've got all my ribbons here. Now, they're already in their own individual pack, but what I've done is I've packed them in here in this individual one, and I've put my Crafter's Companion glitters onto the other side. Just to say, and I double check, so your A4 plates are just a little bit too big, but all your folders, your yeah. junior plates and that, they will fit no problem at all. But look at that, I've still got loads and loads and loads of room that I can then be putting more in if I wanted to. So that's that one. Then further on down, what I've done is I've gone in with my craft iron that you see me use for my flower forming. I've got my heat gun. I've gone in with my ink pads, my waterproof, my alcohol proof, and then my watermark, and then some wipes at the back here because, well, I know I'm always going to need wipes when I'm inking. Then when it comes to the detachable bit, what I've done within this one is I've gone in and I always carry a selection of my square blending tools. So I've got, I think there's about six in there and I've got loads and loads of my actual blending pads that are brand new and also some that I've inked. Because if they get inked inside, it doesn't matter, George, because no. I can just wipe it clean. Exactly. It's no problem. I don't have to have this opened or stored up just to use this one, detach it, sit it to the side, sit it on my craft desk. I can have this hanging at the side when I'm doing shows and I can bring this one out. I've got them all good to go. But the key thing is, as George was showing you, you do have that hook at the top. It is metal, but you do have a plastic cap at the top. Now what that does is that not only does it strengthen it, but it's also going to protect. It's like a grip. So if you are doing it on the back of a bathroom door, if you're using it for any of your smellies, your accessories, your deodorants, perfumes, anything like that, shower gel, hand gels, all of them, then you can put them on the back of the door, you can put them on the wardrobe, your oak furniture, anything like that, that you're just like, oh, I don't want to scratch it, you're going to be safe because you've got that one there as well. But then I've not even put anything yet in my little holders, and as I said, my main front one, I've not got anything in that one just yet. Thought I'd left that open there for a minute and they were falling out. So that's my one, and that's the one that is well with my crap bag that I come in every day. This can then sit in there, and do you know what? If you don't even want to then attach it yeah. back, you don't have to. I'm going to press down because I'm going to get rid of that excess air, and it's still all going to go in, no problem at all. I've still got loads of space. Pop that one in, work my way around, and now that is my crafty accessories that I can then go with my gems, my heat gun, my tools, my blending tools. I've got that one there, so it can go straight from the car or the boot of my car to into here. Then I can then take it right to the back where I tend to store things during the week. This is just my crafting one, only my crafting one. And I thought what I would do is, as well as having this one, as... George said as well, you know, many different uh, reasons that you might want one. So what I've done this morning, because um, I'm going to change a few of mine about, and that's why I'm going to give my mum this one, but on another one that I have, what I've done, and you guys know what I've been through over the last mm -hmm. couple of months, so being totally honest with you and showing that you don't just need to use these for crafting. So I talked to Erin, she was absolutely A-OK -okay to share this all with you, but you might have medical needs 
like I do. So instead of having to have them just in a carrier bag or a box and they're dumped in the green room or they're dumped in your car or they're dumped just in a hallway or something like that, you know that you've got them. Whatever it is you need, medication, medical equipment, whatever it is, it's all in one place, you know, whether you've got, um, you know, things like diabetes or, do you know, I'm not actually going to even yeah. list the name of them. Whatever, you know, illnesses or issues that you've got, whatever you need, you've got them in different compartments. Now, we don't need to look closely and I don't need to go through what's in here, but what I can say is there's a reason that I've packed that one in there, why I've packed that one there, that there. I've not even filled that one yet. I've still got my hooks at the side here that I've not popped anything in yet. So my little tubes, containers, they could go in there if I wanted to. But then if I do need this, um, you know, if I'm needing to go into the, the cloakroom or the toilet or I'm out and about in a hotel, can then just sit onto the back of the bathroom wall, the bedroom uh, door, obviously, on the inside, and it's there. It's good to go. Doesn't mean that you don't have to have um, medication, uh, medical accessories, anything like that, just thrown into a case or thrown into your suitcase or into a carrier bag. It's, it's, we'll put it this way, no one's going to question you. They're going to compliment you on the bag, but they're not going to question you about what's in there. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So if it is something that you get a bit nervous at, embarrassed at when you're having to, you know, explain whatever it is that you've got, you're not going to have that. You yeah. can just talk about the design. They're not even going to want to know what's inside. You can just say it's nice, it's storage. So we've covered the crafting, we've covered medical needs, whether it's, you know, if you've uh, got a new baby, you're out and about, maybe you're going to then be going in with your electrical equipment, like Joe was saying, earlier on you know whatever the reason is you're going to find a way it could simply be to tidy those drawers in the kitchen in the bathroom in that dumping cupboard that we've all got that I've been saying for about 12 months now that I'm going to tidy out and I've not done it yet you know a lady lady likes her DIY as well little tool bag and yeah, that as well great. screwdrivers in one hammer in another one some nails and that in another one guy might like this it's kind of like a fancy tool mm. bag whatever you want so strong sturdy as George well pointed out and if you do have any other of the cheetahs or you do have any of the florals the designs are matching perfectly yes. to previous ones and if you never got previous ones you might want to have a look at what George has got absolutely do you know you might you, you show that with the medical supplies Craig it's the dignity of it isn't it that is an absolute spot on yeah. word. Absolutely. Yeah. I know my dad's very, we talked about this from my dad as well. Yeah. It's that dignity of being able to just carry on like nothing's That's it. ever happened. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Because you know, it doesn't matter whatever it is. Again, as you know, I'll go, you know, a lot of mine's is Crohn's disease, it's bowel issues, mm. it's that sort of stuff. So, you know, you just want to try and be normal and you don't want to draw attention. Not that I bother. Anyone can ask me anything. But yeah, it's the dignity sometimes. Yeah. It's just sometimes you don't want to be bothered about questions or asking, and it's just a nice way. And as Georgine has just said that in my ear, if I hadn't said to her and George today, that's what was in there, she wouldn't have a clue. You wouldn't be able to tell no. what's in them. Absolutely. Uh, loads of love coming in for these guys. Uh, Jenny, I love your storage case. I've ordered two. Uh, and order the floral version to add to my collection to the floral bags, apron. Peggy saying hi from Georgia. Mary, hi everyone from Minnesota. Loads of you coming with questions. I'll get to your questions, I promise you. Yeah. Rebecca Arnold, I love the metal hook at the top. That was very smart. Hey, we're well, very smart people. Um, Loads of you loving the florals. Now, guys, like Craig said, the florals is the Crafty Companion Florals. There's loads of wonderful storage in this collection. We've put a collection for you because why? Because we love you. Uh, the four-piece collection. So, you're going to get the carry case, which we've shown you already today. Here it is for you, the carry case, which Craig's just gone through. I put it to one side for you because you've seen that already. You're going to get the coordinated collection. There's four pieces of uh, great, great storage. Starting off, first of all, uh, with, of course, this incredible Julek, Julex, <laughs> Julux tote case, Julux tote case, um, and Julux being the word, oopsie daisy, knocking the butterflies over, yes, indeed, because it is, well, it's just incredible. You've got it here, you'll see our crafters using these time and time again, because storage is important, and I know how much storage is. You've got this great design here. Let's start off with a strong handle. Strong and comfort. They're thick. You know when you get a carrier bag and a bit of weight in it, it starts digging in your fingers? You've got the padding there within the handle, which means it's going to be nice and strong. Plus, it's got the metal D-loops as well. The metal loops, it's going to be nice and strong. 
riveted in there, it ain't going anywhere. As you can see, as I spin it round, look at here at the front side, you've got a great, uh, great pocket, uh, nice and deep. Look at the size of that, what you can put in there. Again, just be perfect, maybe gardening tools. Maybe you want to put crafting items in there. Then you've got all barbecue, picnics, all the different ideas. You've got seven storage pockets around the edge here. Then another, got three on that side, two on either side with the storage pockets. Now, if I tilt it like this, you can see this great storage, but you're going, well, that's not what I need it for. I need to make it personal to me. You've got these padded dividers. You've got the sturdy, like Craig said, wipe clean. What we've got here, that hook and loop, they are movable. Not only, not only are they movable like that, you can also move it out, right? So you maybe you want to take the middle section out there, and then maybe you want to take out the section just there. And maybe what you want to do is to attach it like so, which it just does if you, there it is, nice little bit of force, it comes into there for you. You've got it there, the nice big storage case in the deluxe tote carry bag. You could then also, if you wish, I know a lot of people do this, <laughs> fit this with inside that like so. It fits just in there if you want to do. However, you're going to keep it separate. I know what you like. You can make these storage compartments personal to you. Maybe you need a large bag. Maybe you need a little bit more in there. Alternatively, you're well, what you're getting here is to get in the mobile tote bag as well. Again, you see crafters using these all the time got the carry case. It is matching what the other patterns are. You've got storage in here, three pockets. You've got it there in the middle. You've also got clear pockets there at the front. You can see my fingers just there for you. And if I flip this round, again, more pockets with that Velcro. So if you do need to move it, you can do just there. Plus uh, lovely little, not finger holders, pen holders. <laughs> Put your fingers in them there, whatever, feels great. Uh, and again, if needs be, if it is an issue, you know, maybe it's a bit too big, you don't need it anymore, it folds up nice and flat for you. Then you've also got the mini tote bag as well. Again, perfect for wherever you meet, your desktop one, wherever you want to put it. It's small. I mean, you might want to put your phone in there so you know your phone is nice and safe. Straight in there, it's in there so you know exactly where it is. Um, pockets all the way around. You've also, as well, how it comes for you, you take out the cardboard there, you can fold it nice and uh, flat if you need to store this, wherever you need to store it. Again, it's in there in the middle, you've got the wonderful sleeves to store more items. That is a great collection, 83, $93, $96, $91.84, you're saving yourself 20%. Now I know a lot of you are asking, oh do you have that exact same package with a cheetah? We don't, however, what I have got for you, if you fancy it, and you're buying the cheetah, where have I put my cheetah? There's my cheetah bag. Maybe you want to go for the cheetah bag. You can treat yourself to this great bundle. Again, you've got your cheetah bag. You've seen what we've got in there. We'll show you again soon. You're also going to get the large stamp and die folder. You're going to get it here. Now, we love our stamp and die folders. Storage, protecting your dies, protecting your stamp is going to give you a lifetime of happiness. You've got that clear little label there so you can put Easter. Christmas, whatever the occasions are in here, you know exactly on the side without even having to open it. You open that up and as it spins round, boom, you've got the ring binders, which means with your plastic sheet, which we're giving you, you're gonna get storage. Is it, look at that, the amount of storage you can put there for your stamps, plus magnetic sheets, perfect to stick your dies onto there, plus the pockets here, which Perfect for ink pad sizes. That is there for you today. $49.98, $59.90. That incredible clearance by a platinum price of £39.98, uh, $47.92. Another saving of over 20% for you today. Uh, guys, loads of questions. Uh, <laughs> Sarah K on YouTube, the du Dulux tote case, does it come with a big fluffy dog? It doesn't. Uh, Kathleen, my order is in now, I can watch and see how I can fit it in the bag. Uh, Craft AJ, when you can't put a baby in the bag, there's no room for its toys. That is very true. Uh, loads of you get in touch today, uh, great for a first aid kit. Uh, Pat on Facebook, will this come out in other patterns to match the other's Crafter Companion bags? Hey, maybe, who knows, time who to knows? tell. We can always ask Leanne and Sarah and see what they say. Um, Sandra's saying on YouTube, quick question, just going really quickly off the topic. The kaleidoscope die is beautiful to make, but it's a nightmare to get the bits out of. Any suggestions, Craig? I've tried the die cleaning brush, but resorted to the pokey tool. Ah, is there anything she can do quicker? Um, I don't know, because I've not used it yet. 
we are actually going to be using it in our first demo. So do you know what? This is where it comes to. There's no point in me saying to you that, you know, trying to wing in the answer when I don't know. Let's do it live. Absolutely. We'll work it out together. We'll see if there's an issue and see how we can overcome it live together. Lovely. Stay tuned for that, Sandra. Pam said, oh, can you find out if they off the same bundle for the floral pattern as we get this for the cheetah one? I already own all the other things in the floral bundle. Not currently. Hey, but we'll pass it on. Georgina said, I'll type the email and we'll see what we can do for you. But why not a great deal to get yourself topped up on that cheetah uh, carry case and then go for that wonderful uh, folder as well. Another great deal for you in the show. Get ahead of the game crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu click shop the show i was here on monday and it was a great exciting day because we were launching the brand new vintage butterflies you guys have fallen in love with it and we can see why there is so much within this i ain't gonna go into it now i promise you later on i'll come back to it later you're getting stamps embossing folds charms lace you're gonna get uh, vellum card so much within it those little uh, Brackets, the little, what they're called, sprocket, not sprockets. Um, split pens. Split pens, thank you, sprockets. I don't know what sprockets carry to my mind for. Uh, that That's is a there to printer. Take, what? That's an HP portable printer, a sprocket. I've is got it? one, yeah. See, learn something new every day. Uh, that is yours today, guys. £152, £85, $189, uh, huge saving. Guys, there's other options available. Head to the website, I'll show you those shortly. Craig was saying, we're going to go the Close Scout Butterfly. What have you got planned for us? We are indeed. So the card that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to use that triple layer butterfly. But because I want to show you the difference, and just in case you think, all oh, right, he's just, he's just said that, but now he's saying he's going to help. Just to say, so we've got the triple layer butterfly. But so you can see that I do have the kaleidoscope as well. So although the main focus is going to be on the triple layer butterfly, what I wanted to show you is how, if maybe you didn't want the butterfly, but maybe you wanted the kaleidoscope of butterflies on the top of what I'm going to make, how it's going to look different, but then you can still use them in the same way. Does it make sense? Stay with me, it will do shortly. <laughs> so what I find with this collection here, the colours that are working beautifully and perfectly together are your ivories, your craft and even your black. But of course you do have your uh, peachy tones and that. I know George will go through this all after I've just done this demonstration. But you've got your blues, your ivories, your peaches and your mints as well within a pearlescent. But if you are wanting to use other colours, again your ivory, your craft and your black will work an absolute treat. And also when it comes to this collection, I find that ivory card blanks work well. So even if you don't have card blanks that are ivory, create your own, take an ivory card stock, centuri pearl, folding it, creating it, that's your card blank. So what I'm going to do for this one is I've gone in with my card blank, which is five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. So I'm going to go in with my craft layer. So all of these layers are a quarter of an inch in increments. So I'm starting with the largest, being my card blank, and I'm coming down a quarter of an inch at each point. So that can go into the middle here. And at this point, you can go around with your distressing tool or your distress edger if you want to. Uh, I'm not on these layers. It will come in handy later on. So we're going to come in here and simple layers to start with. If you want to gut the centre out, you can do, that's up to you. But things like white card, craft card, black card, I don't tend to gut because uh, I've a lot of that. It's my mirrors and mats that I tend to uh, gut out. Then what I've done is I've taken our 8x8 eight eight vellum and I've cut that down to another quarter of an inch smaller, which is 5x7.5. And, and what I've done is you'll see here, I've got my adhesive strips down the centre and that's because that's where I'm going to hide my adhesive. So I've then taken a strip from our 12 by 12 paper pad, which is two and a half by seven and a half inches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear. So I'm going to tear all the way down. So instead of having a straight edge, by going in and tearing, it's giving you that rustic feel, that antique feel, that vintage feel when it comes to the butterflies. So I've already done one, the only difference is I've got my tape ready to go and prepare, so I'll use that one. So I'm gonna stick this one on first. And when it comes to acetate or vellum, it's all about hiding the adhesive. 
This is how I'm going to hide this. And one question you get asked quite a lot is, when and where do you use vellum? Vellum is a really good replacement for pattern paper. So you can see here that we've now gone from our vellum, which has got a light tone to it, if I bring in a piece of white card, if we then, you can see that you've got that light tones, the pastel tones. As soon as you put it on something dark, it really, really makes it dramatic that we can see. But once again, we want to hide that. So let's come in with our strip here. And this is one of these collections. We were saying today on Craft Chat and Create where we had Enchanted Dreams. That allows you, that collection, yeah. to put lots of gems and pearls and glitter and embellishments and go to town on that collection. This one's the same, but would be like layers. This one, it lets you, something about this one that you, it allows you to put lots of layers or when I say it allows you, you can do it with anything you want. But within this one here, it looks, it looks good. It looks yeah. elegant. It looks sophisticated. A layer upon layer upon layer. Tear them, distress them. That works really well when it comes to this collection. It really does. Um, Helen has asked a great question. Does the Gemini Junior machine fit in the first of the tote bags, the one with the removable inserts? It's there. It's inside for you. There it is. The Gemini Junior inside that remove uh, bag, that tote bag with the removable inserts. That's how I went out to ask Tracy. Went, Tracy, and she went, "It's there." I was like, oh, "Okay," uh, but yeah, it does. It fits in there. I mean, what a great question! You put your power really cables good. in there, all sorts. What a great little, um, great question that is. If you want us to put anything else in a bag tonight, get in touch. Give we'll put things in bags for you. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for my little edge distresser. I can't find. Is there one here? No. So. What I'm going to do is let's just use, yeah, it's like the edge crimper, Georgina. So what I'm going to do is let's just use my scissors instead. Yep. Say for using your, you can tell Becky's been in with um, I know, I'm soft crafts. Fabrics. There's like thread and everything yep. all over the place. Someone talking of fabric, someone's just said, oh, do they sell that fabric in there? Do the floral fabric by itself? I'd love to make myself a workbench in that fabric. I don't think we do, you know. It'd be, be worth asking the question again. The, Georgie, you get send me the emails, please. Thank you. Make it, make it happen. Thanks. Cheers. So I've taken a piece of our 6x6 six six paper pad here, and I had cut it to 4x6, and all that I'm going to do is distress it with my scissors. So this bottom edge and the right-hand side, I used my little distressing tool, but because I can't find it just now, it's definitely in my, in my bag, so yeah. I'll need to have another look later. You can do it with your scissors, just be careful, but you get more of a ripped effect, a teared effect, because the blade of the scissors, the sharpness of the scissors, is really cutting into your card. Yes. Which is fine, that works a treat. Then what I'm going to do is let's go in with, I'm, going to, I'm just going to use uh, my foam pads here. So I'm going to go in to one of the corners. Let's go into one of them here. Pierce a hole and then I'm going to come into the other bottom corner, and then I'm going to pierce a hole. Yep. And so far, what I've not needed to do is do any inking around the edges, no. which you can if you want. And I've taken two of the butterfly brads, so this is just the round brads here. Now, half of them are a gold edge, and half of them are like a copper edge. So what I've done is I've used two gold ones, and then I'm going to feed that through, and I'm going to pull the split pins at the back. I'm going to do the same down here. And it's adding extra texture to it with having that smooth roundness in the corner. And it's also adding a little bit of interest as well. Then what I'm going to do, I just want to make sure my butterfly's the right way. So I can then come along and I'm going to layer that over the top like so. So I'm going to go in with this one at a jaunty angle, which I know it's not something that I tend to do a lot, but I think it works for this one. So I'm using my tape. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to pop it on. And even although we've got a bit of depth at the back where the split pins are, I'm still using my tape. If it's not fully compressed down, if it's not stuck all the way around the edges, it doesn't matter. It's giving you that rustic vintage feel. You can even come along and start to enable the edges by pulling and rolling them up. 
you want to. So we've got that one there. Then what I'm going to do is let's come in with our uh, fabric, well, our fabric, fabric roll. What is, what is it actually? Elegant lace, it's called. So I'm going to come in with this one. Fabric on a roll. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work, does it? Doesn't have the, doesn't have the same ring to it. No. Thank God. Yes. Yeah, I tried it earlier with uh, Becky. We are talking about zips on a roll. Right. And she's like, I don't get it. The zips on a roll. She didn't get it. Didn't I tried. Get it. I tried. You tried? God oh. loves a trier. I'm always a trier. It loves you saying how much you've already got your vintage butterfly and it's awesome. And the uh, Cara, Cara, Cara says, sorry. Cara is Irish, I'm guessing. A Cara. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, my vintage butterfly. <laughs> I'd be a rubbish teacher. It came today and awesome and the TV doesn't do it justice on the pads and the vellum. I've heard a lot of people say that on Craft Chat and Create when the message in to say theirs had arrived. Mm. Many actually saying exactly the same, George, and how the TV does not do it justice whatsoever. I know, because if you saw me off TV, you'd be heavily disappointed. <laughs> I think we all feel that about ourselves, don't we? We feel like that at times. I, I, you know, the camera adds £10. So, uh, so they say. <laughs> how many cameras were on you? Um, <laughs> We were talking about Friends earlier, actually, Becky. We were saying, uh, we were talking about what characters we represent from Friends, and I said Becky reminds me of Janice. Really? I was joking. I wound, winding her up, actually, obviously. It's not like you to be winding people up. I know, you know. I'm getting a reputation for myself. But then I said Grace for the socials, because she was like, I love Friends. Yeah. I was like, you're like Gunther. Gunther, and, yeah. And she's like, why? I was like, because Gunther, coffee house, bring people together, socialising. Socialising, good one, yeah. Good one. I was digging myself out of a massive hole, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, but you I know me, I like holes. I've been in a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, in the, sense of, in the sense of getting myself in a hole with conversations. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> I meant... I genuinely mean, I, when I open my mouth, I get myself into a hole in a conversation. and then Just like, stop right the now, holes. Right Just now. stop with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. I'm sure everyone does as well. Just maybe didn't come out right that, that way, did it? Um, right, so what I've done there <laughs> is I've cut out the opulent frame. So we've got three of them here. Really good size for your sentiments. So I'd already done one in black, and now I've done one in craft card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, do I want craft on the top or do I want black on the top? So I'm going to go with black on the top because I've got black on top of the craft here. Yeah. Talking of friends and characters, I would say I'm more like Monica. Oh, that's what Becky said. That's what she is, or I am. No, you are. She's not about you. Yeah, I'm not, like, I don't like mess and clutter. Mm. And I do have, ironically, which is nicknamed Monica's Cupboard, and that is a cupboard that yeah. is just absolutely chocker of rubbish. Really? Yeah. Don't like clutter, mess, untidiness, anything like that. Apart from a craft room, mm -hmm. that's different. That is totally different. But, yeah, I have my Monica's Cupboard, as I call it, and everything that I just don't know where to put at that time yeah. gets thrown in there, so... I'm definitely getting called in the office on Monday, aren't I? No, no, not at all. <laughs> hey, crafters love you when that happens. Love us all. Gosh, Joe swore twice today. Did he? And one of them was a very, 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 very naughty word. <laughs> a naughty word, yes. Yeah. Well, I can't mm. believe he said fish on air. Uh, okay, well, Joe, well. He definitely in the office on Monday. <laughs> I used to say good afternoon, everyone. So happy to have Craig back for another session today. Uh, loads of you getting in touch. Loads of you loving the hour, answering your questions. Remember, you can get involved in the show. Comment below. Susie on the socials. Uh, so if you've got anything that you want to ask him, maybe you want to see inside the bags. Maybe you want us to put stuff in the bags, see what you can carry, like the Gemini uh, Junior that we did. We'll do that happily for you tonight. 100%. Absolutely. And also just what you would put in yours. Be yeah. interesting to know. Been straight in my back. Going in and layering up. Now, you could have done a layer of gold if you wanted to. But what we're going to do, and I'll tell you what, before we cut the triple butterfly, which is what's going to go in there, let's use our kaleidoscope and our double-sided die. 
and we will see. Um, can you remember, George, who was it that had the issue with the double-sided die? It was the wonderful uh, Helen. Helen. No, 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 no. I lie. I lie. Ew. Sandra. Sandra. Yeah. Right, you are. So... Uh, for anyone that's new to double-sided dies, I'm, I'm not saying this for Sandra's sake, I'm saying this for anyone that's new to double-sided dies, what you need is your two cutting plates, so whether that's the Junior or your A4 Gemini, and then what you'll also need is your double-sided die plates here. Now, we've got them on the show as well. I think we're going to go over them just shortly as well. You do get the two in the pack, so you get the two A5 ones, or another option is the two A4 ones. So as I say, you need two, you get two. Try not get these mixed up with your carbon plate for your foil press, because they are different. The double-sided dies uh, are uh, branded Gemini, so you can see it there. Uh, these aren't on tonight's show, however, they were on earlier on. So if you go on our website, you can either search in the search engine or go into shop the show on Craft Chat and Create from earlier today, and you'll find them there. So what we need is our base cutting plate and one of our double-sided die plates for now. Then we're going to go in with our double-sided die, so let's get a hold of it. Now, double-sided dies, if you didn't already know, are only found at Crafter's Companion. You will never, ever, ever find double-sided dies anywhere else from any company ever, wherever in the world. You will only get them with us. So they are dies that are double-sided. Mm -hmm. So two things, if you do do what I do with your dies and to clean them out, you tap them on the side of your work desk or that, don't do that with these. Can't do it with these because they're double-sided. And although they look like a wafer thin die, you cannot use them on your foil press because if you were to try and foil one side, you're going to cut the other side into your heat proof mat. So don't hit them off the side and don't use them on the foil press. Other than that, they kind of work in the same way. It's just your plate configuration that's different. So what I'm going to do with this one is, one side you'll see you've got a lot of open detail. Yep. So that's going to be my base. On the other side, you've got all of your die detail here. So that's going to be the top layer. Now, they do work together, the layer on top of each other. If, for instance, you only wanted one side, George, yes. what I would suggest is still cut both sides. It's a bit of a waste by not having card underneath if you're only wanting one layer. Run it through with a piece of scrap card just so it bulks out. It's to do with the pressure and plate combination. So let's go for, do you want black on the bottom with gold as the detail, or do you want go? Oh, yeah, you do want that one. Yeah, Georgina? Yeah, right. jo Georgina is smoking for everybody, guys. Yeah. Sorry, all right. So there we go. Uh, I was actually thinking the same, but I thought I would open it up to everyone else. Well, I want different, guys. I want the other way around. We'll maybe do it later on for you okay, then, George. Now, what we can do with this one is we do have little areas here where there's no die. So what I can do is if you want to hold it in with your low-tack tape, you can do. So now we're cutting into our black card, but we've got our die on this side. So what we're then going to do is we want to cut that into our gold. So we're going to turn that face down. What we're then going to do is come in with our top plate, because again, that needs something to cut into. And then what we can do is pop our top plate. We're going to measure and line that up so it's nice and neat. We can then run that one through. Now, this is to do with the plate combination and the pressure with these ones here. So you do need the double-sided dies and the double-sided plates for these ones here. So let's remove this one. Now, just to say, this is the set that I use when uh, I do shows here. This is my original set from when we first started doing double-sided dies. I've also got a set at home that I use, which is also my original set from when we very first got them. And you can see it's the material, it's what they're made out of, they're extra strong, and they need to be because that's two layers of pressure from each side. So what we can then do is take that one off, take that one off, and we can then pop out one of the layers. So we can pop out the back layer here. And then if we then carefully, because we've got the antennas, which are small and delicate. So we can come in with these little bits. And by the looks of it, well, you can see from mine, mine has released from my die no problem whatsoever. 
but we can take these ones out. And then we're going to do the same again. We're just going to carefully manipulate that one out. So all that I would say is... Sandra. Um, Sandra. Yeah. Yes. All that I would say is I am, I am absolutely sure and positive you've got the same plate configuration, the right one. I know you have. I would just double check it to make sure that it's the two cutting plates and also the two double-sided plates, which, as I say, I'm sure you do that anyway. Um, it could just be the fact of that it is brand new. Yeah. Sometimes as you use the dye more and more, it's not that it lubricates the dye layer, yeah. but it's the more use of it, you know, it starts to free out the cardstock. Um, we could see if I come in. So we do have release holes. So I would suggest, I would, I would have said that your back layer here would be quite easy to just pop out and then just pop using the release holes until you get a part that lifts up and then you can go all the way through, lift yeah. it up as well. You could try with a dye brush, but you've got very limited amount of spaces within this one compared to a normal dye. Uh, give it a shot, but just pop out the back through the little holes, the release holes, until you get a bit where the cardstock lifts up. Maybe your fingernail, tweezers, another pokey tool, just to lift. But as you can see there, certainly with yeah. my set here, there didn't seem to be an issue. Uh, Julie was saying, oh, I wish it would be nice if the double sided dies were marked somehow. Sometimes I get confused from which side is which. Side is which. You could easily, with a sharpie, I Absolutely. Presume, page, write, you know, outline, an O for outline and then good. D for detail. Uh, you know, that's just my little suggestion yeah. for you there. Uh, Cara saying, I love double sided dies. If you want more about double sided dies, last Sunday, myself and Lily did a masterclass all about double sided dies. It's two hours last Sunday. What are we on today? 24th, 25th, 25th, 24th, 25th, 25th, 25th. 20th of February, it's Sunday, I have to go backwards. Uh, have a look on the YouTube. There's a masterclass for myself and Lily if you want to learn more about double sided dies. And if you want ease of allocating them on the website just go to craft chat and create from this morning and shop the show because we had them on this morning as well See, i knew so that. there you go get them from this this show this morning uh, or you can just go into its category on the website but they were on shop the show and then go back and then have a look at uh, lily's uh, master class with george we had a great time did you i didn't see uh, lily's master class but i, I know learned she's something new absolutely fantastic yeah i learned a lot what did you learn? What double side dies were. Really? Yeah, it sounds tough, but I've never really seen them. No, no, it's like, not silly. Like, I, don't get what, I don't get how they work. How do you use a double side? And Shadow yeah. went, well, I could do that. Mm -hmm. Easy as that. They're really, really easy. They are, because I said a moment ago how you'll only find them with us. I can't say the word patented. 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 <laughs> I mean, can't right? even say it. No, Still can't even I. say Sorry, it. So you'll only find them with us. We've got the patented. Patented for these ones here. <laughs> They've got the exclusivity. You could, that's it, love that. So as you can see here, you could create one as being a, a, like a silhouette effect if you wanted to. You could easily enough use the decorative side. This is what I mean by, say you only wanted this layer, I would still cut both sides because it's yeah. to do with the pressure and then just store the other side until you need it again. But by simply layering it up, and then what we could do within that one. So what you could have done is, because I've gone for black on that one, I could have gone for gold as the base and black on the top. But either way, this isn't the one I'm using for this, but I wanted to show you how it works. Yeah. So there we go, Sandra. Uh, as you can see, there wasn't really any issues with this one here. Uh, give it another little bit of a, a shot and a play. Run it for you a few times. If you still continue to have issues with it and you know that you're having an issue compared to other sub double-sided dies, contact customer service next week and just let them know it's a bit unusual for you to be struggling. You yeah. don't have any issues in the past and uh, they'll be able to sort you out. Rachel's asking YouTube, can you use the double side dies with other machines than just the Gemini? If you have a, another die cutting machine, can you use the double side dies with those? So, this says no, but as crafters, we know that you're going to have a play. 
all that we can say is because it's to do with the depth of the plate, the depth of the dies, because it's all been just um, incredibly manufactured. It's been worked out. It's been thought out. We know the pressure of the Gemini. That's why the special plates were. So what I'm going to say is I know some of you will have a try and you'll give it a shot. I will just say it's very much like the foil press and using it for flower forming, which you can't do because it stays on the heat longer, so therefore it buckles your plate and it could break your foil press. That null and void your warranty. So if you try and use your double-sided dies with another machine or that that you shouldn't and something happens, it null and voids the warranty of the product or that that you're using. So you will want to keep you crafting. We don't want to stop you crafting. Uh, you know, we're, we, we say to you, all our other dies, they'll work in any other machine. You go for it. But because our double-sided dies, you only find them with us. They've been made, they've been manufactured, and they've all been designed to work in conjunction with the pressure of the junior or the Gemini, the plates, the double-sided plates, cardstock depth you're going to use, and the depth with the actual dies as well. So... They're saying no. If you are going to try it, please don't. But if you are, just be prepared that if anything happens, anything's damaged, it's going to null and void your warranty of anything Crafters Companion that you've bought. So just want to keep it in mind. We don't like being, you know, like head teacher or that. But the last thing I want you to do is say, yes, you can do it. You do it. You break it. And then I get the blame. So yeah. hopefully that helps. But here we go. But I know oh, so see this, Craig. Oh, I was like, yes, Craig. I, no, yeah, I know. Even I, I don't like it. Not on a Friday night. You know what? Friday. Six fifty-two on a Friday night. No whoop, whoop. way. Get the shots of milk in. Right. Let's get this card finished now. Now, one that you guys have absolutely adored. We did do a three-layer butterfly, or oh, a good couple of years ago, that you went crazy for. Now, this is a three-in-one, really, because you can use that on its own, use that on its own, use that on its own, use that together, that together, that together. You can have a play. But what we're going to do is let's go in with on this one here. So that's the main base. Then that one is the next detail, and this one is the ultra-fine detail. So I'm going to go. I know I have got black on this one here but I'm still going to go black as my base yep I'm then going to go the middle detail I'm going to go in with my um, vellum and this is just our plain vellum you could use your pattern from the set but I'm using plain and then what I've got is the main decorative die that I'm going to cut into our gold satin card so all of these are now back to your normal double uh, your normal cutting plates if you're using your large Gemini, you'll get all three layers on at once. If you're doing your junior like I am, you'll get the two of them, but they will go through your midi as well. So we're going to run that one through. And this is great because you're getting that sheer amount of depth and decoration when it comes to the wings. It's really nice. Really nice to create a shaker with that base die because it gives you that full-on aperture. Yeah. So we can take, I mean, you could be using that as a stencil as well if Absolutely. you wanted to. So there's our gold, uh, sorry, there's our black and then our vellum. So while we go to layer that up, let's go in with our last one for this one. Let's turn my plates around because I don't like my magnetic facing down. Let's go in there, run it through. And then because this one has got a wee bit of detail, not lots, then what will happen is it'll start to shine upon some of the black. Yep. So therefore, what you get is you get some of the black popping through. Great. But then where the vellum is, it turns it into a muted grey tone. Right. Then we can come along. We can then take our main decorative butterfly die, pop these bits out here and then here, and because there's even less detail on this one, what will happen is you'll start to see some of the black, some of the vellum, and then you will get that gold outline. That's incredible. That you can see here. Now, you could do, that's what I meant, George, by... <laughs> oh, <close laughs> one? I was... I was How you doing? Just while you weren't tucking yourself in, just, weren't you? Just... Uh, well, it's close one. one of them days, is it? Well, I 
Yeah, you did. Hit the wrong button indeed. And what I do with these is I only, that's really, that's really tickle, tickle Georgina that has. She's gone. She's absolutely gone. What I do is I only put the adhesive down the body so then we can have the wings flowing. And I'm going to do the same with this one. But when I was saying you can have a play with the layers, you might only want these two or you might just want the gold and the vellum. You just might want the gold and the black if you want to or you might want to use them all individually. But if we line that one up, so I like to use my tacky glue for this. So we can then position it into place. And then what I'm going to do, while I'm holding the body, I'm going to lift the wings up. I'm going to do the same on this side here, here, and then here. And then let's pop that one in. Once again, let's bring this one in. So I'm going to go in with my tacky glue. You can use your glue gel or that if you wanted to. But what this does is it extends your black frame in the background because what you'll see is you've got that elegant curvature but then you can start to see it just seems to pop out so it's actually like part of the design yeah so press that in then all that i'm going to do next to finish off is i've got a piece of our white smooth stamping card let's go in with what one will we go for let's go doo -doo -doo -doo. butterflies appear when loved ones are near We'll go for that because it's going to fit my layer that I've already cut. And then I'm going to go in with my uh, platform. You could be using your stamping platform if you want, but yeah. because it's, they're nice and small, I actually find it easier using a little acrylic block. So if we go in, so let's come in, let's press that in. So butterflies appear when loved ones are near. So we've got that one. And then while I've got my tacky glue out, let's just use that one. Layer it onto a bit of black. Now all these layers, additional layers, you could distress with your either your scissors or your distress tool. But then what we can come in, so we can come along, so you can either go here, you can go here. I'm not going there or there because I've got my little brads there, so I don't want to cover them up. So we can go there, but I kind of like it down to the bottom left. So I'm going to come in with a foam pad that we can see here. And then there we go. We're going to set that there, slightly off to our vellum, so we're still getting that subtle layer of vellum. Let's press that down. And then there we go. So if I turn that around, we've that gone in. That is incredible. Now, can you imagine, you know, minus the sentiment, or still with the sentiment, but that could be in a little uh, A5 frame, or, yep. you know, maybe even a bigger frame pop it onto a bit of a canvas background if you wanted to, but you've got the depth. Yes, I've gone in with the layers, with the foam pads, but you're still getting extra layers from the butterflies that then fold flat. So there we go. We've all got craft card in our stash. We've all got black card. Most of us have got ivory, although it would still work with a white card blank, but there we go, something hopefully that you think is looking quite elegant. It loves you loving it. Had that shirt on Facebook. Can't wait for my vintage butterfly collection at set to arrive tomorrow. Ayesha, the Crafts companion design team, does such a great Great job with butterflies and the papers are gorgeous as well. Beth on Facebook, I got this collection. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love butterflies and it is rare for me to resist them. My little melting pot on YouTube, my, my, my Craig's butterfly is a stunner. It really is, guys. And remember, if you want to get the vintage butterflies, loads of great deals on the vintage butterfly collection. Head to the website, crafterscompanion.com, .co.uk, .eu. Let me show you what you're getting here. I think, you know, we do a lot of launches. <laughs> Strap in, guys. Get your set. I'm going to save them to the end because you want those to the end. Big finish. Um, and what am I going to do first, Georgina? I'll show you. I'm going to start off first with the butterfly kisses. Now, guys, you can buy everything individually. Let me just say that for now. You can buy it individually. Spend over £50 dollars as well and you get a 10% saving. £50, $50, 10% saving. We've got some great deals, some great bundles for you. Starting off, first of all, with butterfly kisses. Uh, you get all the different sentiments there that you could possibly wish for. Happy birthday. Thank you so much on your special day, just for you. B butterfly wishes, with love. Birthday wishes. That beautiful fonts, different designs, all that wonderful butterfly. And again, a great little collection 
all different sentiments. But this one's my favourite. Butterflies can't see their wings. They can't see their how beautiful they really are. But everyone else can. People are like that as well. What a great little sentiment that is. Someone might need that little pick me up. What a great little collection that's going to be. Then you've also got the beautiful butterflies. Now, we were talking about this the other day with these butterflies. Butterflies can sometimes seem a bit cartoony when we, you know, in certain designs, but these are so realistic. There's different species of, of butterflies. Some are like moths, and in and, and the nicest way possible. You know, moths are still very beautiful creatures. The butterflies all here are different species. Every one of those stamps is absolutely different. You are getting there, let me just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, th about fifteen stamps just of butterflies, and not two of those are the exact same. Different sizes, different species, they're going to look incredible. You're also going to get the embossing folder as well. A great deal, a great uh, design with that butterfly, and then that background there with the harlequin theme and the swirls, again with your inks, it's going to look beautiful. You've also got a wonderful butterfly design as well uh, that loads of people love. That's your embossing folder there for you, the in flight for you there. £6.99, $8.95 if you wish to buy it individually. Then you've also that wonderful butterfly die that Craig was telling you about, a trio of butterflies. I mean, you can see it there. When he's doing the pastels, it's perfect papillum, papillum, papillum. Uh, there it is for you, that great deal with these butterfly dies. I mean, that die alone is worth that investment because you can see it there how much you absolutely are going to love the butterflies that it creates. There's nothing saying you have to use all three dies together. There's no saying that. You could use the uh, outer die here, so the outer die here, with this die here. There's nothing saying you have to use all three, but when you combine all three, look at what you're creating. Then here, with a marvellous mariposa, again, what a great little design this is. We were talking about this before uh, when it launched. The outside die here, the three dies, so this outline die, is a postage stamp. I mean, there's so much you can do with that as a postage stamp. You're getting the outline die. You're also getting the outline die for the square here. There's nothing stopping you making stamps, postage stamps with this. Then that butterfly on top where the die has got the liftability designed into that. You don't have to do anything. The die is all there for you. Then you've got the opulent edge. I mean, does it need any more of a description than that? It is the opulent edge. Look how beautiful it is. Again, simple and sophisticated. It's going to look incredible. That wonderful opulent frame, which you saw Craig using a few moments ago. Again, those three dies all working together and that brilliant price there that you'll be paying for that at £12.99, $14.95. That is that wonderful uh, opulent frame. Three dies there. Again, what a great collection that is. Remember, your Club Inspire discount on all of that. Uh, we've talked about it a lot now because it is that double-sided die, the Kaleidoscope die. Um, that is what you're going to create. You can use either side by itself. You put them together, look at what you're going to make. A brilliant die and a brilliant cut out there of those butterflies at that great price at £22.99, $26.95. Remember, for your double-sided dies, you're going to need your double-sided plates. They are going to be required to cut this double-sided die. You've also got the Monarch. Wow. We've now got a stamp with an edgeable. Look at that. You may want to just put your butterfly on the edge of your design, those wings peeking off or peeking one side off. That is going to allow you to cut into the edge of the butterfly, which you can just see there how it's done that edge cutting there with those dies. That is possible here with a vintage butterfly with a stamp and the two dies. Then the charms. I mean, I was going to save all the uh, little little funny bits for you. Funny not be the word, but you know what I mean. Those little uniqueness of this. The butterfly charms. Ten charms in total. Two of each design. Nothing stopping these. Nothing stopping these with your alcohol markers on this. I mean, you can see it there. The different shapes, the different sizes. All there orange, the greens, the blues and the yellows all there for you. A great collection and a great price. Always worth adding a few extra of these if you're buying bundles into your basket. Uh, then you have got here the tags and tickets. Now, we've talked about this, how great these will be for weddings, invitations, props, whatever you're going to use these, they've all act as real tickets. The dies have designed that perforated edge there, allowing you to actually tear this. And as you've got kids who like being train conductors. We've all been train conductors. You can just quickly run through these off for them to play with. Tickets, please. They're going to have so much fun with that playability on this. I'm just thinking different ideas. But again, add these into your crafting. 
I mean, wow, what a great set. Then the set of dies that are just, you need them. Do you know what I mean? There's a set of dies that you go, like your nesting dies, I need the dies. They're going to be used time and time again. Uh, guys, journaling, great idea, Georgina. Imagine you're not traveling in your journaling, what a great idea that would be. Uh, paper pads. We're going to start off here with a six by six paper pad. I mean, I will show you this now, and that, oopsie daisy, there's so much. The butterflies are fluttering away. There is so much within this paper pad. Six by six, double-sided. I mean, what a brilliant, brilliant collection this really is to allow you all these different paper pads that you see. I mean, well, the question is, you're going to have to add a few extra of these into your basket because, I mean, what a great collection of papers at six by six that you absolutely adore and going to love. I mean, the question is... What side are you going to use first? That's what I want to know. Uh, this, yeah, it is beautiful. Everyone's just saying how beautiful this really is. Uh, here with the wings, the delicacy, delicacy, <laughs> even delicacy in some countries, uh, the delicateness of them. Uh, again, brilliant collection. If you like it in 6x6, six six, imagine that in a 12x12 12 12 format because it's there for you guys. It's there as a 12x12. 12 12. All the different pa papers that you've seen there is a 6x6 six enlarged, nothing taken away, and nothing shrunken down when it's six by six. There's wonderful designs that you've just seen there, all part of this 12 by 12 paper pad, all double-sided, allowing you to create some amazing, amazing creations with these wonderful, beautiful paper pads. And like a lot of people are saying, the cameras are not doing this justice at all. They really are, I promise you, I'm so lucky that I get to see these in person. I know that our craft experts are just having so much fun with this incredible collection. When something gives you so much scope for playability, that is incredible. You're also gonna get the corresponding card in this, the A4 card sheets. Uh, again, you're gonna get the person card stock, 24 sheets, the pinks, the greens, the purples, and the creams, all matching alongside those butterflies. Six sheets of each card uh, at £14.99, $19.95. And then there's a lot of love for this, the eight inch vellum pad, because it is brilliant. Uh, eight by eight vellum. You saw Craig using it there, £12.99, $14.95, uh, six design sheets. Uh, again, so much within this collection as well. Uh, they are there for you, that platinum price as well. There's also these wonderful little bits of vellum. You've seen Craig using the resin, no, I'm not finished there, Georgie. No? You've got the resin braids here for you. Again, 40 of these within the pocket, uh, within each packet there for you. Uh, there's 40 braids in total, £5.99, $7.95. Again, what a cheap price by itself to stock it up if you buy the bundles. Add those into your basket. Then you've also here got this wonderful lace. That's it. Don't you? That's it. But it is, but I can do that for you. I don't need a bottle of butterfly lace for you. I, 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 okay, I'll do the ribbons for you. I'll stay there for you. Uh, again, <sighs> Vintage butterfly seam ribbon, again, meters of that. It's 0 0.7, three quarters of an inch, uh, a meter length in that pink, that wonderful gray and that wonderful green. And then this, this great collection here with this wonderful 1.6 inches, this elegant length in width and lace. Two meters in length, that's a lot of lace at £4.95, $6.95. If you want all of that, guys, and everything that you've seen there, 25% off. You see it there at the individual prices. You can see it there, that wonderful collection. If you want everything in there that you've seen, the charms, the pads, the lace, the double-sided dies, the paper pads, the card, the embossing folders, everything that you've seen there, the dies, that is there for you, £152, $189.80. Guys, that is a huge saving of 25% off. What a brilliant, incredible price that is. Alternatively, if you want all that, and you want extra 12 by inch paper pads, the extra of an eight inch vellum pad, an extra A4 card, then one that go for this bundle. This is a great deal. Still 25% off, £184.99, $230.95. Something to bear in mind, guys, that you don't get in that deal, an extra six by six pad. So if you want to get an extra six by six pad, you might as well chuck another one in your basket. A great saving. £184.99, $230.95. Remember as well, you're going to get your Club Inspired discount on top of that. So if you're on Platinum, look at that ridiculously low price that you're paying. You're going to get your extra 20% off. £147, £147, should I say, and 99 pence, $184.76. Loads of you love this today. Uh, hi, Hayley, saying, core blown, this is beautiful. Michelle, this is absolutely stunning. Uh, Elaine, saying about Craig's card. That card is beautiful. Uh, Sandra, thank you, Craig. I sent a photo of what I've done this afternoon while watching Becky and George. Hey, we'll try and have a look at that for you. We'll have a look for you guys. Uh, Sherry, just absolutely love everything about this card there's so much within this show the time is flying by like a butterfly 
Uh, there it is for you. Uh, guys, loads of you have got things in your basket. Loads of you with those brand new launchers, uh, those wonderful storage cases. I hate for you to miss out on any of those. Check your baskets out. Myself and Craig will see you back here shortly. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. How do you? Welcome back to launch day. I don't know what happened to be there. Uh, welcome back here on this great Friday. It's a launch day and look what we're launching these brand new craft storage case. Guys, what a great collection. That brilliant price that you're seeing on screen, $29.99, $34.95. Let's take a reminder of what you're getting in the bag. You're not getting anything you see. Let me spell this in mind when I explain that. Well, I know what I mean, but do you know what I mean? Probably not. Uh, let's start you off here. These are our brilliant storage craft cases, perfect for you traveling. Remember, this brilliant floral design. It's our crafter's companion floral that you absolutely love. A strong handle sewn into that. That's great, that. You know, a lot of luggage I've ever got in the handles are sewn on the outside. That's in there, strong and sturdy. Um, I know I'm old in my life when I'm going, that's a good set of handles and I case that. That's when I know I've become a, a fully grown adult when I go, that's good storage. Oh, there's that. Feel that? Good handles then. Um, I've turned into my mother. Uh, again, these are a great deal here in the handles sewn into that collection. Again, we've not even opened it yet, but you're already seeing where we're going with this, that brilliant pocket on the outside. All the pockets go around the outside, around the outside. There they are, that deep storage pocket. Perfect, you know, it's big, it's deep, it goes to the bottom of the wonderful case for you. You open it up, and again, you're going to see this brilliant zip. It goes all the way round the outside, and <laughs> underneath, just there. Does it go all the way round the outside? It goes all the way around the outside, uh, and then down to the bottoms, which means it goes nice and flush. So when you open it, 
it's gonna, hey. you know, it's not gonna fold. It's gonna be nice and strong. It lays flat. Uh, it starts off first of all with that wonderful metal hook again with that rubber uh, end, which uh, Craig shows you earlier. Again, perfect for you to hang wherever you wish, maybe on a bathroom hook, maybe on the back. If I knew door. you were going to do that before we went live, I would have loosened that handle. If you so would have loosened that hand off and knew you were going to do that. <gasps> That's where I live in there. It's uh, like when Joe shows our shedless glitter card, you know, because he always goes to show it and then he goes like that with his beard and it's like one day, what I'm going to do is before he comes into the studio, I'm going to pour glitter on yes. it, shake off the excess and then he's going to go like that and it's going to be all over him. <laughs> April you Fools. Day. That's what you need. Uh, guys, that is there for you. Once you take it off, I mean, you can see the clear uh, clear packets here, clear packets within the zips, uh, the clear see-through front ends. Again, with those strong, sturdy zips, you know what's in there. You know what's in there. It's deep. It's the whole way. And again, there. And the best little feature on this is here, that wonderful zip, that unzips there, that comes off there, which allows you to make this uh, more transportable. Maybe you want to keep something in the car, maybe you want to put it somewhere else, that comes off for you there. That's the wonderful floral collection. You've also got the option today of buying the wonderful cheetah. Again, the exact same inside, the exact same functionality, but in that wonderful cheetah print. There's also other available options for you today. That's the great price there, £29.99, $34.95. Uh, and then we've also got some great bundles for you, uh, more the wonderful floral collection. Head to the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu, see different bundles that you see. Uh, remember, head to the website, you are loving this. Half the percent, half the percent, <laughs> half the percent of stock. <laughs> Feels like it. 50% of the stock has gone on that wonderful floral case. If you're wanting to get it, I wouldn't sit about because I've got a feeling it may sell out in the next few days. Uh, Craig, these are brilliant. And when we've seen storage cases, we've seen, you know, we've seen things like this, which yeah. are sturdy and perfect if you're going for the car, not, you know, but this is just another level, isn't it? It is. And, it, you know, it's keeping on the craft and storage, but so many have absolutely adored our floral. Now, for me, yes, purple is crafter's companion. It's the colour of creativity, of course. But I would say, you know, like our ultimate pro is our fl flagship product from Crafters Companion, our Centura Peril is our flagship cardstock. What I would say, this design is kind of like our flagship design when it comes to Crafters Companion. You guys absolutely loved it. So what Leanne and the team have come along with, because you're so proud to be seen with your Crafters Companion products, out in your craft classes, your craft crops, all these sorts of things, what they've done is, it's called craft storage case. I've actually been calling it a storage travel case because that's exactly what it's like. It's really good to pop underneath the seat of the plane or the train or the automobiles, depending on how your transport's going to go. But it's so good because of that hook at the top. It folds out as if it is a travel case. So George has gone uh, over the front of it. I don't have anything in mine. So this one is actually mine that I filled up with my bits and pieces that I use here. So what I've got within this side here, George pointed out that you can see all the way into them, which is great. So this one, I've got my gems and my pearls, and I've got my key embossing powders within this top bit here. If they were to leak, it wouldn't matter because it's wiped clean, but it's only powder, so it doesn't matter. Then because I always like to put ribbons and bows on cards, I've got all my uh, ribbons or my, uh, well, my satin ribbons here. Just say there's a question saying, where does Craig get all of his? You know how I'm a big fan of sticks to a D's of company just through Newcastle? Well, they do their ribbons as well. So that's where I've got all of my ribbons. But then what I've got here down the side is I've got my Crafter's Companion glitters all the way down the sides. If you've got additional tray storage from Totally Tiffany, that would fit in there, yeah. size dependent, of course. So you can have dividers in there as well if you wanted to. Then we're going to go down into the next one where I've got my craft iron. Now, if you were traveling, that could be your travel iron if you wanted to, your little travel hair uh, dryer if you wanted to, your bits and pieces. But I've got my hot glue gun, my alcohol-proof ink pads, my waterproof ink pads, translucent clear, and then I've got my wipes as well at the top. And then for the bottom one, which George showed you how it just zips off really, really easily, what I've got is I've got about, it's either, it's either six or eight inside, and it is our blending tools, our rectangle ones, or as they're technically called on the website, square, 
but they are rectangle. So I've got about six or eight in there, and then I've got loads of my blending foams. Because I don't have the luxury of being like, at home and have an individual pad underneath every single ink pad, so I've got a load of them. Some of them are new, some of them are used, doesn't matter if it gets inky because it's all wipeable material at the back as well. So it doesn't really matter. And it does mean if I do need to be using them, if I'm going to be using these on air, if I'm going to be down at Hobby Maker here in the UK, then I can then be uh, just taking that one off, using them, packing them away. So it's really, really sturdy, as uh, George was saying. So I've got mine jam-packed full. I've still got room to put bits and pieces in. I do have loads, so you don't need to worry about squishing it and pressing it down you know not that you're going to have breakables in there but as long as you don't you're going to be able to close it no problem whatsoever the sturdy handles as George was saying the stitching all the way round the zips all the way round double zips which is absolutely perfect as well so you've got all of these ones really really nice handy the back of the car the boot of the car however you're going to be using it that is a really good one so that's that one. That is what I would say is the Crafter's Companion logoed design, I would say. But what we also have as well is we've got our uh, cheetah. So this is one where, to give everyone a, a choice, we, uh, or Leanne and the team, came out with another design as well, because maybe not everyone likes the floral. Now, with this one here, I just wanted to double-check with Erin, and the reason I wanted to check this morning is because what I'm going to show you in here, I didn't want anyone to think that I had to show it if I didn't want to. You know, I want to come in and show you that I use mine for medical needs, so it's not just for crafting. So the things that I need, which many of you, if not all of you already know, certainly the later end of last year, being in hospital for a wee while with my Crohn's disease, so I need to have medical stuff, ease of access, but I need it to transport it from the car to our green room and to the restrooms, need to have it on me. It's all together. So there's a reason why I've got these products in here at the top. Now, of course, we don't need to go into what these are, but there's a reason why I've got them there. There's a reason that I've got all that together. There's a reason that I've got all that together. I don't even have anything in that one yet. I don't have anything in that yet, and I don't even have anything in that yet either. It's my key essentials. So with anything for me, Bible related, if I need to go to the restrooms, whether it's in the supermarkets, the stores, at work, at home, then it's just going to uh, hang on the back of the door, on the back of the door handle, on the back of, you know, one of the changing room tables, if it's like one of the disabled toilets, anything like that. It's so good to have. It could be medication if that you need. But what George said earlier on, and it was absolutely spot on, I couldn't put it any better myself. If you're using it for medical needs, it's the dignity. It's taking it from the car, from place to place, instead of it being just in a carrier bag or an old rip bag. No one's going to know what is inside. Georgina said it herself, whereas if I hadn't have told her and George beforehand what was in here and what I was going to be showing, they would not have an idea. They would maybe say, oh, that's a cool bag. Where did you get it? How did you get it? What do you store in it? You don't need to show them. You can make something up. If you're finding being honest like I am, and we'll talk about it you can just say oh, some of my medical stuff but it is different things not craft stuff medical stuff medication a new baby the nappies the wipes the jars the spoons all these sorts of things that you need to take joe had a good idea that he would put like his tablet his ipad his charger his battery packs all these sort of yeah. things when i go home to my parents in scotland uh, i like to take my apple tv box so i need an hdmi cable i need the power i need the, um, the, the remote and all of that. So these little bits be good in there. Game accessory, Georgina's just said. I'm not a big gamer, Georgina is. So that would be good. Would it hold like a PlayStation or that, Georgina? Not a PlayStation, but like the headsets, controllers, the games, the leads, the chargers, these sorts of yeah. things as well. Tool belts, tool belts, well, you could try and attach it to yourself, but a little tool bag, you know, for the females, but their tools, maybe guys like these designs, that's up to you. So yes, it says on the screen, the craft storage case, the purple cheetah. Think of it as a travel, because it's so easy, accessible to get into the bits. You can see the bits, and if you need to clean it, it's easy, clean, with sturdy handles and edges and zips. It really is. And, you know, you say about the uh, carry, I was thinking medical, back to the medical thing. Imagine putting a carrier bag on the floor 
with medical items on a supermarket. I know things have changed. Yeah. We are a bit cleaner, but let's be honest, especially yeah. a men's toilet, let's be honest, we never stand close enough. So, <laughs> you know, the floor, you don't yeah. want to be putting medical, what's going to be you going? You so right you on that one You want to on the door, don't you? And nowadays as well, we are so, so good in the UK, whereas if we go into shops or uh, supermarkets or malls or anything like that, you go to the toilets and more and more have gotten the disabled toilets, not all disabilities are visible, which is absolutely true. But you're right enough. Some people do seem to frown upon it, but if you have medical needs, like I do, you don't want it on the floor, you don't know if it's just been clean. You, it's, do you know what? I, I know we are, we're going far and above to kind of explain a point, to prove mm -hmm. a point, how they'd be handy. I'm being completely honest with you and putting myself in a situation that many of you would be having a case like that, something that's stored, just to say the stuff that I have and the medical stuff, that's staying in there. I was very lucky I was given another one from the team, so an empty one to you. So that's the one that's going to my mum, um, but that's going to stay in the boot of my car and then I can bring it straight in and out whenever I need it. Absolutely. Great idea. I just think it's brilliant. And, and, and we keep talking about it. It's the size of it. That yeah. Because they don't come. I have one that I bought from Amazon that I use. Obviously, I spend a lot of time up here. I do a lot of touring. I go from hotel to hotel. I go up to the house. Toiletries, I have it up in the bathroom. It's a small little thing. Yeah. And it's just the right size for me. And when I say this as a man, let's be honest, a man has toothbrush, <laughs> mouthwash, face wash, shaving foam and a, and a deodorant. That's it, right? And it's not that many things. So it's perfect for me. Yeah. If my mum was to have one, she would need serums and creams <laughs> and, and things to put under her eyes. That is going to be a perfect size. You know what I mean? I'm, some women may be like me and I have a few bits, but this is perfect. It's it the huge size. And that bit that comes off. If you are in a hotel, you've got all your makeup and you put your makeup in that little bottom bag, Night out, you zip that off into the bottom of your night. So if you yeah. go out and you want to top up your makeup, hey. What about if you are a soft crafter or you know how to sew, if you have got reels of zips at home, so take that off. You've already got the positive side on there. Oh. Just take a strip of the yeah. negative off your roll, attach it to something, I don't know, and you can easily, you know, say you manage to put it on a, on a panel or something on your wall or that, and then you can zip it on, zip it off, zip it back. Really good. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. There's so much you can do with it. Yeah. And what a great storage bag. And, and it's it's not unique in the sense of what it is. No, no. Unique in the crafting world. Yeah. Because everything is big handles Absolutely. to be placed on our desktop. That's what we look at. This yeah. is taking that next level. Uh, loads of love coming in for it today. Um, scrap paper scissors, you, you know, about the what's saying about disabilities. Uh, you know, being disabled. That is true, Craig. I have neurolog neurological diseases and people always say, but you look fine. Yeah, absolutely. You never yeah. know what's in the inside. You don't. Uh, guys, Get yours while you can. The cheaters and the florals online. £29.99, $34.95 each. You also get your clubbing to buy a discount on that 20% off uh, if you're platinum. Remember, if it's your first order as well, what a great day to get your first order in. You can get an extra 20% off. Uh, Easter is just around the corner. Chocolate! Woo, 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 woo. Uh, hey, what a great Easter box. It launched last this week. Uh, what are we now? So last week. Last week. This is what happened. I'm here a lot more. I don't yeah. know what day it is anymore. Um, 17th of February, this launched a week yesterday. It launched, and hey, we love it. You guys have fallen in love with the Easter collection. Over 180 elements within this, and there's a little bit of everything. A little bit of Easter in my life. You gain it here 180 elements, paper pads. You're getting patterns, you're getting cards, card blanks, dies, stamps. You're getting embossing folders, ribbons. Bows, little balls, I've got to wool to be a sheep, and a rabbit stencil as well. And that's what you always need. If you've seen our craft kit boxes before, you love him. And like Craig has said before, this is just enough Easter. And what we mean yeah. by that is, is like Craig says, you don't make many Easter nope. cards, do you? But what a great little slither of Easter. You'll sh I will show you the craft kit box and what we mean by our craft kit box if you're brand new. Let me show you what you're getting inside very quickly. You're getting card blanks, all right? Don't need to worry about that. Envelopes, and a lot of you make your card blanks, but hey, perfect for this if you need something quick. 
You've also got here the stencil as well. The stencils which make the lovely little rabbits. Again, you can make your bunting, add these into cards. We've talked about finger puppets before. What a great little collection this is here for you. You're also going to get all these little bits and bobs. I love bits and bobs. You're going to get little cotton wools. You're going to get your smaller ones, all different coloured bows, different ribbons which correspond, and this twine as well. What a great collection embossing folder and what a great embossing folder me and Craig have talked about this many a times what a great little embossing folder this is because what this is allowing you to do is to get yes get to the true meaning of Easter and but we've talked about deeper sympathy we've talked about christenings we've talked about weddings there's going to be you know there is people who are going to want to take this we can use this for whatever it needs to be whatever religious holiday you want to celebrate what a great embossing folder the box that i think is worth it just for that embossing folder because remember you can't buy this individually your dies that you're seeing here now let me show you the stamps that are going alongside these and i mean you can see where i'll just put all the animals the right way round there you are boys um yeah <laughs> the stamps the right way but the dark uh who done that board jake how has no one noticed that so ignore them for the time being because they're the wrong way around but you can see all the different reefs there all the different stamps oh that's why it's coming oh that's up. why yeah that's why it's crazy right fixed it I fixed it for a little bit. Uh, you've got it there, all the different uh, stamps and different dice. Uh, now remember, I, and again, go back to that, that religious aspect. Um, you've got it here. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Matthew chapter uh, chapter twenty six, verse six. Uh, again from the Bible. Again, what a great little collection. Just touching on the biblical references that you just you know without being without being over the top. It's there and it's that subtle hint and I absolutely love that. I think that would be a great card for my grandparents. You know, what a brilliant little Easter card that would be. There are the dies you're gonna get. Remember that cross die fits perfectly within that embossing folder. And the Easter egg die, which I think is worth its weight Absolutely. and it's gold. You've got some stamp sentiments in there, uh, stamp and die sentiments as well. Also, colored card in these brilliant spring colors. The reds, the pinks, the oranges, the yellows, and the greens. This brilliant, brilliant paper pad. Uh, and again, not just all Easter, nope. spring. You've got the rabbits, you've got the chicks. And again, double-sided, oh, the blossoms. And again, the little chicky chicks with the Easter eggs and all matching on the other side, the daffodils. And again, what a great little paper pad this is. And then here, you know, this is really touching into spring with the little, you know, there's nothing saying you have to, you have to uh, top, keep the rabbit. You can chuck the rabbit out. It's good. And, you know, if you do a smaller card, then the stripes, again, what a great little collection this is uh, for you here today. Then the little dots and spots. I mean, that there, sentiment in the middle of that. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, again, so much within it. And a brilliant price. I love this. Uh, guys, £49.99, $59.95. Uh, you remember your Club Inspire discount on top of that. Great deals for you as well. Not just that. If you're looking at that going, oh, I like that. We've got some little extras for you as well. You've also got the option of an ENT basket, the other bundle that we've got. Everything within the Easter collection. You are seeing there, you're getting the Centura Pearl, 10 sheets of card. You're also getting a blush ink pad, uh, a metallic ink pad, and you're getting 12 aqua pens absolutely free. That is incredible. 12 aqua pens. It is right, George. Bargain. Them by themselves are £22.99, $29.95. We're chucking them in absolutely free. Remember, 12 different colours, two different brushes on them. That wonderful nice brush and that fine tip. £58.97, $74.89, a huge saving. You get those pens absolutely free. £47.18, $59.91. So much love for it because it is perfect. Crazy and Shows is next. Uh, Loads of you get in touch. Scrap Paper Scissors, I love my Easter kit. I can't recommend it enough. I have made so many cards and still have a bunch of supplies left. Uh, Guy, oh, Kathy Lee says, I uh, ordered the uh, Easter collection as soon as it launched. I can ha can't hardly wait to craft with it. Deborah's saying the cross embossing folder with the cross die looks amazing in metallics. Oh, Great wow, stuff. Yeah. And going back to the wonderful bags, Caroline said on Facebook, I do a lot of athletics and go to a few running competitions. I'd use one of the bags to store the likes of my keys. Phone would be, yeah. be fantastic for me to take like a spare pair of running gloves in case the weather changes when you get there. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I know because I do a lot of touring and I've got to fix things. A little carry case, I've got tools in, but it's so big and bulky. That's perfect. Just tools, little set of wrenches, gaffer tapes, tapes. Perfect. I'm pretty sure that Sooty, Sweet and Sue would all fit in there as well. Well, no, because they travelled by helicopter, Craig. Ah, oh, right, OK. Sorry. They're on their VIP. Obviously. Of course. Silly me. Silly you. Silly me. 
Um, but yes, uh, really good having those uh, travel cases, travel cases as I call them. But let's have a look at this Easter kit collection. Now George uh, picked, up, picked up upon it at the start, that as we were saying last week when it launched, with the Easter collection here. It's going to sit nicely next to Sarah's Nutcracker collection and also Swan Lake, but it's not an overly full collection and the reason being is for me as a crafter and many of you being the same you know at Christmas time we make more cards to give or sell than any other time of the year it's not the same for Easter so the last thing we don't really need an Easter collection that is the size of uh, vintage butterflies or the size of towards the night before Christmas we need the key elements the bunny rabbits the lambs the Easter eggs the cross all these sorts of fun things to do with Easter but we still need to put extra things in that you'll be able to use not for Easter all going to work great Easter and springtime but because some of the papers the images aren't necessarily saying Easter or have Easter themes it's maybe just floral you can then be using them all throughout certainly the spring and also the summertime so as George went over the boards I don't need to go through the box again with uh, or certainly at this moment in time but what we are going to do is we're going to do a demo we're going to use this one and I'm not going to use the card blanks that come within the set I'm going to use uh, my own 6x6 six six, and you could be using the additional items you get within the collection if you go for that one but all I'm going to do is use baby blue centaur apparel quite smooth now I've taken this one with the little uh, bunny rabbits bum just popping out of the pot plant and what you could do layer it up go in with a sentiment and then take one of these little white pom-poms you get two different sizes you could come in there and there's a card done Boom. that's it done so you're able to replicate, replicate that a few times if you want to so that's the sort of thing that you can do but what I want to do is I want to create a little bit of a scene with the bunny rabbits the lambs as well as the chicks so what we're going to do is let's move these out the way for now I'm going to come in with some Nina cardstock and I'm going to do my die cutting first because that's what I prefer to do. Yep. But personal preference for yourself. So I've got my two bunny rabbits and I've got my lamb. I would also do the little chicks as well, but I, um, I'm not going to do them now. I've got them already done. So what I can then do is let's run this through our Gemini, mm -hmm. which of course the size wise, George, they will go through your mini yep. if you wanted to. But no problem to cut loads through your junior tape it down if you feel more comfortable but I'm going to space them and then run them through and I'm going to use my tribal edge so if you do go for the collection that has the extras in it where you get the aqua pens for free you could do what I'm doing but use watercolour card but as I'm going to use my tribal ends I've gone in with Nina cardstock so we can then take these ones out and where I said earlier on with vintage butterflies mm. how it's a good one to use the waist of the butterfly once you've die cut it as a stencil you know you know in actual fact you get away with that being an elephant with the the trunk yeah, you up to the see. top do you know what i mean yeah yeah but if you wanted to use them as a stencil as a shadow you could do or uh, replicate it where it's going to be a shaker element you can do as well if you've done them straight you know and had three of them i would maybe do a bunny rabbit lamb bunny rabbit you know, then what you could do is lift it with your foam that's on a continuously long rolling tube. Absolutely. Then what you could do, acetate underneath, stamp in colour, level that up, lift it up. So you're still seeing the design underneath, but you can have shaker elements if you want. So you can still have a good play with what you're going to do. So let's bring in our mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp these out, George. Yeah. And then I'm going to use a combination of brown grey shades pale pink blend earth brown blend light yellow blend and gold yellow blend nice. so we're going to use them we'll do a little bit of coloring and then we can start to assemble the card lovely uh, lots of love saying about this wonderful collection uh, susan is saying i love the egg shaped scene with the rocking row it's like debbie did the other day paypal is so sweet susan oh my hooray craig's demo laquica gibson on youtube that paper is so cute and scrap paper scissors, the bunnies in the kit are so much fun to colour. I love them. They really are, aren't they? they? Are. Just a great little collection. 
you know, bunny rabbits and lambs aren't just for Easter. Do you know what I mean? No. You know, you know, little girls, little boys, they've maybe got their own little bunny rabbit. Yeah. They're maybe a fan of things like Peter Rabbit and that. Of course, it's nothing to do with Peter Rabbit, but it is still a rabbit. Do you know what it's look great with? Maybe your little one loves farms. Yeah. And the truck from <gasps> the... Farmyard. Farmyard. Yeah. With all these little animals in there. That's a really good idea, George, yeah. See, you can do that. Start to bring in your other collections. Yeah. Whether it's ours, you might have the farmyard collection or the farm collection from Hunky Dory that mm -hmm. they done quite a wee while ago. So, yeah, start to use them and incorporate them. Then think about your craft kits and the collections that you've mm. got or craft boxes. Uh, twirling characters, penny sliders, the, the use them. Perfect. Exactly. So then you're now able to use the basics of the dies when it comes to things like penny sliders. Take out your penny slider craft kit or the collections, use the dies included, but instead of using the characters that come with them, yeah. use these Easter stamps, use the Easter papers, and now you've got your own Easter theme. Twirling characters, penny sliders, anything like that. So this is where, if you are a beginner at Crafter's Companion, a nice little set for you to start with, with it being Easter. But if you've been with us for months, years, you're going to have so much Crafter's Companion products that you can start to intercorporate. Georgina has a serious question for you, Craig. Go right. On. Is there a way to stamp onto acetate, Georgina asks? Yes, you, you do get ink pads out there in the market, but for me, what I would do whenever I, uh, embo uh, whenever I stamp onto acetate is I heat emboss. So I would use something like our uh, pigment ink pads or our translucent clear. Mm hmm Yeah. 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 You could, yeah, you could stick, uh, stamp it onto acetate, cut it out, and then stick it on as a twirling character. Yeah, you Thanks. could do. You can Absolutely. do that if you want. You could also stamp if you've got things such as shrink plastic. So you can make mm. them little diddy. You can make them into little charms if you wanted to. Nice. So similar to the butterfly charms that we've got in Vintage Butterfly, bring in your shrink plastic and use that. Stamp, stamp and colour first and then do the shrinking, and then you're going to get a more intense colour. Mm -hmm. If you do use your shrink plastic, never uh, stamp it, heat it, then try and colour it, because it's just nigh all impossible. So, yeah, if you do it the other way round, you're going to get a really good uh, hit of colour. Yeah. So let's go in now with our earth brown blend. So mm -hmm. it's maybe a little bit too dark for my liking. Let's have a look. Muted brown, tan, earth. No, let's go. Uh, earth brown. Is that the same one I've just got? Is it earth brown? Yeah, it is. Right, let's just go for it anyway. <laughs> so we'll end up going. The one that I've used before seems to be a bit lighter. Yeah. Um, but never mind, it's still a brown all the same. So going in, colouring in. So I'm just going to go all the way over. I'm going to start with the head of the rabbit first and then I'm going to go in to here. I'm going to stop round about there. Yeah. That's a fact. I'm not. I'm going to colour all the way down because this is where I want my shade towards that side. So do I want some of uh, I'm not sure if the dark will be too dark. Let's go for it anyway. Let's go for it. Risk it for a biscuit. Let's grade. risk it for some rabbit food. Let's go in there. It doesn't have the same ring to it, does no, it? No, maybe carrots. Risk it for carrots. a carrot biscuit. It still doesn't have the same ring to it. Ugh. Let's just risk it for a biscuit. Rabbit see your biscuit. Your, bis your, carrot, your rabbit used to love hobnobs. No wonder he's uh, in rabbit, not longer rabbit with us. I know. Chocolate hobnobs. Oh, I, li I like hobnobs. I like hobnobs. Yeah, I like a hobnob. Not a big fan of the chocolate hobnob. Oh, get out of it, Craig. No. You've got a bit of chocolate hobnob. Oh, What's an no. hobnob without chocolate? I don't, I, I don't like a bit of chocolate on my hobnob. There we go. Do you, if you Do you like a crisp, crister? Cr cr custard cream, I can't even say cream. it. Do you like I a custard, custard cream? cream? I mean, basically, if it's a biscuit, I'll eat it, even a fig roll. I love bourbons. Craig's like bourbons. 
I'm not a chocolate person, as many people know, but bourbon biscuits to me don't taste chocolatey. What do you want to taste? I'm a white chocolate man, white George. Chocolate, man. I absolutely am. You're right. I am the brand new Crafton Milky Bar Kid. Oh, I don't. A in white Tesco's Terry's in Asda, yes, I know. Easter egg. Yeah, Terry's white chocolate. Yes, they're actually in stores. I've seen them. But I still have a couple of Terry's white chocolate orange and uh, chocolate bars How? left over. How? Because I I savour mine. Ah, I don't. I nail it. Family sharing bar. Ha! <laughs> I laugh at your family sharing bar. Yeah, get I you I raise one. your family sharing bar. Yeah. It's like portion control. <laughs> Portion control. Look at the chins. Hey, it's disgusting. I'm like that with desserts and puddings. You know, it says uh, family size serves four, and it's like, nah, you're alright. Right, four man. hours, maybe. I've told you my Christmas Day story, haven't I? Full trifle to myself. Yes, you did. Although I do like a bit of trifle. I'm not a full, not a full sherry trifle to myself. Well, I think I've said this story as well at Christmas time. The co op do a lemon cello mm. dessert with uh, a little bit, it's either brandy or whiskey, whatever it is. And I ate a whole one, not last year, but the year before. Yeah. But you, you part, you do it over the day. I eat the full thing in 10 seconds, me. I'm like, <laughs> you're yeah. like, oh, I'll do that in a full, and then the serving spoon. That's why I can't buy it. If I buy it, I'll eat it. You eat it. Yeah. No, I do, I get, I get that. I Apart from that. Tunnock's uh, marshmallows, chocolatey marshmallows. Oh, yeah, but see, with the, the Tunnock's tea cakes, what I do is then I like bite off the chocolate, discard the chocolate, which is like the same with uh, Cadbury's cream egg. I bite the top off, I take out the, the cream centre from the top, being careful how I word this, discard the top of the chocolate, um, and I don't use my finger to take out the inside of the cream in egg, I use my tongue get as much out as I can, yeah. don't George, don't go there, don't go there, and then uh, I discard the chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get all the cream out, don't you? Uh, what, sorry? You want to get all the cream out. You yeah, oh yeah. Any, yeah, you don't want any cream left in there. No, no, get your tongue right in there, son. Uh, I, I love a cream egg. Do you want to disappoint me about cream eggs? Is that they don't want to get an Easter egg for a cream egg. The, the Easter egg's not full size. No, I know, you egg. want it to be full of that uh, wheat. I want the full sugar, I want, I want the sugar, yeah, I don't need a spoon for that, mate. Get, I, I like, ah, get the Easter egg, ah, straight in there. Um, sorry, you Cadbury solid, scrap paper scissors, Cadbury solid chocolate eggs or Russell Stover solid eggs. Do you have, do you guys over there have solid eggs? Well, we've got hollow ones. A hollow over here. Uh, give over, right, give over. Oh, Stop what? this. What? <laughs> you're, you're pulling my leg here. Susan on YouTube. Oh yes, the Milky Bar. The original Milky Bar kid is now well grown up, but he lives in our neighbourhood. No Shut way. Shut up. You're lying. I want a picture. You're lying to me. You're I want, lying. I want free Milky Bars. Susan, you're lying to me. Um, Rebecca's saying. <laughs> yeah, does he go up this way? He's like, the Milky Bars are on me. I don't know how old he is. Um, apparently... He smokes 50 a day. Uh, Rebecca's saying there are some white chocolate key lime M&Ms in the Easter section. Disgusting. Uh, thought, thought of you, Craig, though. Do you like key lime? Yeah, I do. We are here in the UK. I'm guessing in the States, mate. Oh. Key lime M&Ms? Oh, Get out of Give all the... Oh, that sounds good. Peanut butter M&Ms. I've got some delivered. Very exciting. Um, I've only had key lime pie once, and it was at a, a restaurant at... Uh, what's the place in Disney? The, the village. Orlando? No, what's Kissimmee? the like, The shopping centre bit with all the shops. Oh. Um, um, Disney Springs. Oh, yeah. Disney Springs. And there's like a, there's a, a boat. It's a, it's a boat called a Paddlefish. It's a fish restaurant and seafood restaurant. And the server was like, oh, do you want dessert? I was like, no, I can't. I can't eat dessert. I can't do it. Okay, no worries. Just the bill, please. Perfect. Comes over with this slice of key lime pie. I say slice. It was more like a house brick. It came over of key lime pie, and she went, it's, it's the last one. So me and my, 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 my um, ex-girlfriend at the time, uh, we're like, let's, let's, all right, let's eat it. If it's free, it's, it's the last slice, have it. Yeah. <gasps> my goodness, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. Um, 
Oh, the sun, yeah, key lime pie, beautiful. Car Caroline on Facebook, I love the Aero Snowflake white chocolate they had out in December, which seems to have vanished. It must have been a Christmas thing. Yeah, I think must maybe. Be. Kim I... on YouTube, I love chocolate. I prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate. Yes, chocolate covered cherries are one of my favourites. All right, Kim. Chocolate covered cherries. All right. A good. Uh... Pam on YouTube, she says we've got solid, hollow, and filled. Well. Ooh. Well. Yeah, that's a lot of chocolate. Uh, a few years ago, mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, a good few years ago, Maltesers done white chocolate Maltesers. Yes. Have you had any white chocolate Twix? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They they just they remind me of uh, Millionaire Shortcake. You yeah. know, with the, like the the um, the biscuit base, the caramel in the middle, with the white chocolate on the top. Buttery biscuit base. Ooh, buttery biscuit base. I um I worked with that the guy he not not Greg Wallace but the guy. He does one of the shows with Chris Bavan, a chef. Right. And uh, we were there, and I mean, he does something with Greg Wallace, like Eat Well for Better here in the UK, show a chef. And uh, I, I did a question, I did a Q and A with him, and someone went, um, "Does do you like a buttery biscuit brace base?" And uh, we got Greg on the phone singing buttery biscuit base. Really? Yep. Great days. Great days um, at the rhubarb festival, which is happening right now. He I'm scares me. Well, Greg Wallace scares you. Yeah, if you're, you know, you're, you're watching Master Chef, you know, and he goes to try it, so he's eating it, and then he'll go. <laughs> Looks right at the camera. The head's down, as if he's looking at the food, but he's eating it, but the eyes. And it's like, oh gosh, it's like, it's like looking at the eyes of Michael Myers or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, all right, mate, don't be too freaky. Take me for a drink first. Um, Devonna on Facebook, Devonna, I wanna, uh, she says, I too save my candy. Um, my family jokes, I keep it for years. I do sometimes find it put away from the holiday from the year before. <laughs> I love that. That would never happen with me, love. Never would indeed. How? Oh, are you, what are you talking about? What's solid and thick? Oh, the hotel chocolate Easter eggs, right? I just said, uh, yeah, okay. Um, brilliant. Um, why do I get hungry while watching these shows? Such a mystery. It's because we all talk about food. We that's do. why. We all do. We do. We love food. Tracy loves food. I love food. You like. It's like Joe Matt VT now. I like food. You like food. Not my sounds like uh, <laughs> keep up appearances. <laughs> uh, the new Aero Melt salted caramel, caramel are to die for. Well, guys, we love chocolate and candies. So feel free to send it here. Crafters Companion, Hordale Avenue, <laughs> Newton A Cliff, DL56HDR or something like that. Yeah. Senders, I like, if you're in Germany, British Sport, I'll have that any day of the week. Send me that. British Sport, it's beautiful chocolate. Oh. It's, it's when chocolate companies bring out you know, bags or bars of brand new white chocolate, but it's it's covered in milk chocolate or it's got white chocolate bits. It's like no chocolate companies, no white chocolate fans don't want it mixed. Well, some do, but most don't. Some and most like to have just the pure white chocolate. Yeah. You don't want it coated in milk chocolate or something like that. I don't anyway. I just want pure white chocolate. Dream chocolate, yeah. it's Cadbury's, yeah. That was quite nice. Uh, Kathy on Facebook, ah, chocolate covered cherries. My friend and I share some with our coffee every year when we open our birthday presents. Oh, oh that's I've, really nice. I've had liqueur chocolates, like liqueur. I'm smashed over a couple. My my stepdad, he loved brandy liqueur. Yeah, I want to say brandy. Yeah, not yeah, whiskey, brandy. Brandy. brandy liqueurs. Or, I think he said it, it's maybe the case of, he said, Maybe about 15 years ago, he liked some, and everyone, you know, yeah, when someone says they like something, and every year, yeah. the same person gets that same item. So, yeah, maybe he doesn't like them now. Maybe he hates them. Maybe he's gone off on his lurch. Maybe. He's too shy to say, guys. Maybe. Yeah, a couple of crunchy. Can't go wrong with a crunchy. Yeah, I, I think I've told a story before about the guy who worked at uh, a chocolatier yeah. that I worked with, and he used, to, he used to work at a place in York called the Round uh, the Chocolate Story, which is about Round Tree's chocolate in, in York. Uh -huh. um, renowned for Round Tree's chocolate. And he was saying that back in the day, the chocolate companies here in the UK, like Round Tree's and Cadbury's, when they were like very big and had, you know, unions and stuff, they'd have on-site dentists, on-site doctors, 
you know, if you work for chocolate companies, you're really well looked after. And he, he was demonstrating at this chocolate kitchen in York. This woman said, oh, I used to work at the Round Trees factory when I was younger. Uh -huh. a, a lady in her 80s, right? And, and then she had this little box and she went, these are the teeth that, these are my first ever pair of false teeth from Round Trees. Because back in the day, you could eat as much chocolate as you wanted off the production line. Ooh. But her, her job at the, before machines was to dip the chocolates into the, you know, if they had to be dipped. Yeah. And you had like a little, um, like a little spatula, like a, a stick with a little circle, so you could scoop up a chocolate, dip it, and then carry it onto the production line. So, right, okay. Yeah, basically. So, and he was like, all right, well, that's very interesting. Thanks for telling me that. And he said, so I don't see the significance of the false teeth. Yeah. And back in the day, if they had to, sometimes their sticks would get a bit claggy with chocolate. So what they would do is like, in between dips, like scrape the chocolate off in their mouths and then dip it back into the production line. Obviously that doesn't happen, that's why she had false teeth. And that leaves like round trees chocolates being sold around the world. Oh. Yeah, that's it. And she would, like, she's like really proud of this. Obviously that never happens now. Yeah. But she was like dipping the chocolate. I was like, oh my goodness, how good, how funny is that? That is funny, isn't oh, it? Just this old lady going, yeah, these are my false teeth. Yeah. <laughs> From the days. Um, a lot of love uh, for these bunnies and lambs. So cute. Uh, Kathy, uh, Kim said the bunnies and lambs are adorable. They really are. Yeah. And, and like you said, Craig, they're going to be perfect for not just Easter, but for every occasion. For every, yeah. Spring yeah. Uh, christenings. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and then you can start to create your own scenes if you want. So I've used the backdrop with the bunny rabbit in the pot plant. But then what I've done is I've built up a little friendship collage with the two bunny rabbits the lamb and I've gone in with one of the chicks and one of them that's just hatching. Now the rabbit, lamb and rabbit is on one layer of foam pads, three millimeter foam pads. And then my two chicks here, they're on three millimeter foam pads and I've doubled them up to give it six millimeters. So if I tip it upwards, you can see that the two chicks are slightly higher than the actual rabbits and lamb. And then what I've done, because my white layer is five and a half by five and a half, I've gone in with some of our construction acetate and I've cut it to five and a half by six and a half inches. And then what I've done is I've scored in at a quarter of an inch from one side yep. and fold it over. Brilliant. And the same on the other side. And what that's going to do is it's still a little bit too wide than my image, but then that means if I take my red liner tape off, it's going to give me a little dome. Mm -hmm. So what I am going to do, so I should have, so I should have put my sentiment on first. So let's pop it on first of all. And i tell you what I can do because I've still got my adhesive back sheets from when I done the decoupage craft chat and create the other day so I can put that straight onto there and it's not going to stick so I can finish this off so here we go so these for anyone that ever misses the shows when I talk about them these sheets are the backing off of e well basically they're the back ends off of your foam pads mm -hmm. but it is either your A4 foam pad or your double sided adhesive sheets and then I keep them so that what I can do if I'm doing decoupage or anything where I take the backings off I can take it off pop it on there till I'm ready and I can stick it Great and idea. then remove Great it and with that one because I've taken the red liner tape off before I should have yeah. if I set that down it's going to stick to my surface so if I sit it on there just now, it's absolutely fine. It's not losing its sticky. It's just going to stay there until I come along, layer up what I'm wanting to layer up. So I'm going to pop that one on. And then what I'm going to do, I'm, I am going to pop them in last by tucking them under mm -hmm. the acetate because I would use glue gel, so that's going to smudge. So I would be a little bow there. And because we can see the little bunny rabbit's tail, what I'm going to do is do a little bit of a pom-pom there. So we can take this one. What's the best way of attaching those pom-poms, would you say? Uh, I would do glue gel. Yeah. Glue, glue gel, or if you do want it to be instant, your uh, hot glue gun mm -hmm. would work as well. Your tacky glue would work, but as it's an embellishment, I would, as I always do, use my glue gel for embellishments. But you can use a mixture of adhesives. So press that one in and hold that. So then what we get, so if we see from up above, so it looks like it's got an acetate 
wrap around it. But if I lift it up, we've got more of an acetate dome there. Mm -hmm. So it's enclosing it, gives you that little bit of shine. Then what I'm going to do, I just need to add my adhesive onto this one. So we can go all the way round. And although I've put the acetate layer on here, my double-sided tape for when I come and add on to my Centura Peril would be more than adequate. So whatever you stick onto acetate, because it's a plastic, yeah. it seems to adhere, adhere even more if it's a, a dry adhesive, such yeah. as a tape. So we can come in, and then I'm going to line that one up here. And let's press that one in so I get my mat and layer. And I've gone for the blues because I've picked out some of the teals. Yeah. So let's press that one on. We can take these ones off here and here. I'm going to go in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a top fold or a tent fold card. If I was to do a card the traditional way, there's a lot of weight on this. So what could happen is because there's a lot of weight, it'll constantly fall over. Mm -hmm. So let, I've gone and pressed up. There we go. So if I go face on, so if it was to sit on, because you've got the acetate dome and the foam pads, it's more inclined to tip over. So if you've got anything with a lot of weight to it, decoupage or embellishments, do a tent fold card so that the seam is along the top and then what happens is because it stands at a triangular uh, shape, you've got the stability. So if I was to hold it that way, you've got more stability. It's at an angle, so therefore it's not going to tip over. So if you are finding your cards are tipping over with embellishments or your um, decoupage, yeah. then give that card size or that card shape a try. And then to finish off, let's go in. Oh, look, I put my glue gel and my acetate there. Let's just wipe that off. So this is what I mean by if I had popped this on first with my glue gel, yeah. it would have been or more chance of smearing it, although yeah. I'm not doing the best of jobs as it is here. Let's just pop that one into there. And then let's go in with another little bit here. So I'm going to lift my acetate up there. Let's bring in my pom-pom and what I will do, because it's easier, let's bring in my tweezers for this okay, bit. Okay. And then we can just pop it in. So it's, let's, like surgery. it's like surgery, isn't it? Let's take a hold of it, pop it in. I'm going to pop that into Please there. Still, Mr. Bunny. And then I'm just going to wipe off that adhesive there. And then there we go. We've gone in. So it's a little six by six card. We've used the background of the little bunny rabbit with its bum popping out of the pot plant. We could have actually put a little pom-pom on there mm -hmm. as well if you wanted to. But then what we've done is we've then started to layer up our bunny rabbits as well as the lambs, created our sentiment as well. But you could have whatever colours, whatever styles, whatever size, up to eight by eight when it comes to your cards. Absolutely a great collection, that Easter box. Remember, that price you see on the screen is for everything that you see there. That includes that uh, 10 sheets of Century of Pearl, that lovely ink pad, plus we're chucking in, because we're feeling a bit generous, the uh, 12 aqua pens that come with that as well. That great deal there, £58.97, $74.89. Remember, your club inspired discount is applicable to that. £47.18, $59.91. You can, if you want, guys, buy that Easter box by itself, that great price, just there, at £49.99, $59.95. But a few extra pounds or dollars, you're going to get everything that you've seen uh, with the pads as well. Quite a great deal. Uh, guys, if you like gold, you can get the wonderful rose gold Gemini embossing. Look at that half price. £19.99 uh, UK only on the Gemini Rose Junior, uh, Gemini Junior Rose Gold, uh, and we're chucking in a few little extras there, as you can see on the screen. Wow, what a great deal that is! Remember, you come and buy a prize. If you haven't got the Rose Gold one, what a great way to get involved. Uh, loads of love coming in. Cool tip for the tent fold says Rose, Susan, and YouTube. What a beautiful finish to the card, and so many tips from Craig, Christy on Facebook. Cute card, it is indeed. Um, loads of you. I can't believe the time's going. Guys, uh, we've got another, just under an hour left. Uh, loads of you have got things in your baskets and I don't want you to miss out. Check them out and we'll see you back here shortly.
and Gemini Junior there, guys. Completely forgot to tell you, that's what that was all about. Yes, that wonderful Gemini Junior rose gold on sale for you guys here in the UK. But that's what it can do. I mean, what a great little machine. So much power for something so small and tiny. Uh, we've got today that lunch day, that brand new craft storage case. Let me get them up here because you know what? You're blinking, love it. I'm not surprised why we're doing storage. And it's, it's storage with a difference because... Yes, there is, there is, you know, travel bags where you can take it on the road with you and put your toiletries in there, but they're just never big enough. And when it comes to crafting, well, there's never enough storage for crafting. This is great. Launching today, this brand new craft storage case. Uh, it's the floral edition from Crafters. Now, what makes it stand out is the size and the sheer volume of crafting goodies or whatever you want to get in there, you're going to get in. If we look at it primarily for crafting, wow. If you are a person who goes from home to your holiday home uh, every weekend, like a lot of us do, then this is going to be that great addition where you can take stuff from your crafting room and every weekend you don't have to unpack it. When you go there, you'll be able to hang it up. Why? I'll show you. You've got the great handles that you know is going to give you that nice, strong security. You don't want your things, you don't want that handle snapping on you. This is going to be great. You've also got that great pocket. <coughs> Bless me. Thank you. You've got a great pocket around the <laughs> around the front there for you. Uh, again, a deep pocket, nice and deep. Um, there's about an inch of thickness. When you push that out full, it's about an inch. Do you know what I think it will fit in there? Yep, yeah, pens straight in there. You fold the cowboy down, it's going to fit there. Uh, brilliant, already. Um, that's just one of the great storage de offers. Uh, de storage. One of the great storage facilities of this bag. Also, you've got this great zip that goes all the way around. And again, when you open it up, I mean, it's all folded up. It's compact. And here it is for you. Again, what a great little storage bag. Now, it's got the hook at the top there. Now, you've seen, I've shown you this so many times tonight. But I think it's always worth bearing in mind. It's actually just a hook there onto your, onto your coat hooks, onto your door handles, whatever you hook it onto, back of the door, it's there. And all you, everything that you've got inside is ease of access. You can see everything just there. Let me bring it a bit closer so you can see everything that we've got in here. Let's start at the very beginning. Again, you're starting off with this first pocket, this clear see-through pocket. There's not many storage bags or travel bags that come see-through and clear. Again, that strong zip where you can see everything in there straight away, knowing what's inside. Storage everywhere. You can see you've got your embossing shimmer powders in there. You flip it around the other side, you've got these wonderful little loops. Perfect for your dye brush. Perfect to put your scissors in. Perfect to put pens. Maybe, if you get through the scissors through the little bolt there, you can. You can put your little creams in there. You can put whatever you need to put in there. Storage either side. Flip it back round, let's move on to the next two panels. Identical, but great storage. I mean, they're gonna fit your junior plates in there. They're gonna fit your daubers. You're gonna fit glue. You're gonna fit foam pads, tape, red liner tape. So much in there, wipe clean every single time. And there's two of these great, huge pockets as well for you to put so much in there. Flip it around the other side. You flip it around the other side, you've got there with that wonderful pocket there at the front. If we go down to the bottom, which I've shown you again, but I mean, it's just worth pointing this out. This wonderful little, uh, it's on a zip. Well, we can see that, George. No, no, what I mean is, it's got a zip, so you can take it off. Yeah, does it? Look at that, no messing about, Georgie boy. Uh, again, you've got your own little pencil case, you've got your own little travel bag for wherever you need to go. If you're on your holidays, like you know, people do go on every now and then, uh, in your hotel room, you're going out for a day excursion, maybe you're going to visit the castle, maybe you're going to visit the local church, mm -hmm. and you want to put some sun creams, you want to put some plasters, kids, snacks, per travel documents, very yeah. good, you know exactly where they are. Uh, you know, open it up, again, great storage. I open this up here. We've got uh, mini plates. We've got uh, fine tip applicators. We've even got a six by six stamping platform in there. Everything in that, $29.99, $34.95. And again, you can attach this. Oh, right, so we're back from the zoo. Uh, okay, right, let me make sure we need to go back in the car. I mean, you keep it in your car. Like you were saying, Craig, you know, we, Craig will show you inside his bag shortly. But again, if you are keeping medical things mm -hmm. inside your bag and you are going out for the day, you don't want to be carrying this nope. around with you. You'll be able to make an on-the-go bag so you can put it into your rucksack should a situation arise where you're going to need uh, something out of your bag. 
that is perfect for you. 29, uh, $29.99, $34.95. It is available in Cheetah as well. The exact same that you've seen today in the Cheetah. You also remember as well, you got a Club Inspire price, $23.99, $27.90 size. A great, nice size, 96. A great bag with a great price. When we talk about storage, there is so much. We look at sort of desktop storage. Uh, <laughs> so Craig just took just to his button. My button been done the whole two hours. Yeah, but I didn't get a chance to tell you. It started at the top of the show, you were stretching, and you went, Boop, and I didn't get a chance to tell you because I was not there. Um, it was his chest hair poking out. Uh, when we took him back, it was... Don't pick on my chest hair, thank you very much. Hairs or hair? <laughs> No I, I, no, I don't have chest here. Do you not? No. The storage bag is great for you on the travel. <laughs> I can't grow a beard, so that's the thing. I, no, get, I get a little bit stubble. Um, the, this is going to be perfect for you to use every single day. It's going to last you, and that's the really important thing. When you buy, what's the one? You buy cheap, you buy twice, isn't yeah. it? Um, and like you and I both know, and as you, everyone knows, suitcases, travel equipment, you want to buy something that's sturdy and is going to last you. And this is going to be last year it's all double stitched it's got a strong handle and it's a great price as well large enough for whatever you're going to need it to be and we said this before sometimes travel bags aren't made big enough i've got one which is just right for me but i know anything else in there i'm going to struggle this is giving you so much storage and as well maybe you're thinking well i want to take that off then you just have that in your hotel room or whatever mm -hmm. then you you know there's nothing saying you have to keep that with that no. just maybe you want that alone and that's sufficient enough to keep everything in there and like craig will show you with his there's so much you can do with it isn't you there? can and, and another good point as well george as you were just showing there so if you were to not have that bottom one zipped up that means that you've still got space so the way you've got it now if you were to sit it down or and then put it flat so before you close it up, you could put some documents or some um, yes. uh, junior plates. You don't have to tuck them in mm. the pockets. You could have them sit and sandwiched in between. Yeah, like that. You know, you'll be able to do that as well. So you don't necessarily just have to use the pockets. Of course, if you are doing that, then you would obviously uh, watch what you're, you're uh, popping it on. However, it's just to prove that point that you don't have to pop them in the pockets. You can use them as kind of like a, a sandwich protection if you wanted to. Perfect. It's a great little bag. Um, again, there are two different designs. You've got the floral option. Alternatively, you've got a wonderful cheetah option as well. Uh, Craig, you've got yours. I mean, you've got both because you've, you know, you've just got so many uses for one. Well, that's it. Yeah, no, we're always lucky, and we don't need to hide the fact that when we come here to demonstrate whatever product it is, we get them uh, from the company. So we are uh, lucky enough. Uh, I've got an additional one, uh, but it was an empty one to show on that. So I'm going to gift that to my mum when I see her next week because I know that she'd use that sort of style because she goes for uh, either day trips with my stepdad and uh, Clemmy or her and her friends go on holiday for a few days or a week to Tenerife. So it's going to be handy for her. But with my one, so so the ones that George was showing you a moment ago, the team have just kind of got a selection of stuff together to show what you could be putting in it craft-wise. My one, I've actually spent a bit of time to actually put stuff. So what was in here was additional things. Because I've got my totally Tiffany tote bag that you can see here, which, by the way, the black version is the current Get It Got It Good this week. Just pointing that one out. Check that out on the website. But you've seen me going about, in actual fact, I can get them because I've got them empty just to the side of me. You know how I tend to use things such as my Gemini mini case for my gems and my ribbons, etc., etc. Whereas now I can go back to using that for my Gemini mini, although your Gemini mini would fit in here. And then what I've done is I've gone in and I've got my gems and my pearls and my key embossing powder so I don't have to clog up my Totally Tiffany tote bag anymore or my little mini uh, bag anymore. I've got them all there. I can see my gems. I've got them spaced out. I can see my pearls at the same time. Then what I've done here is because I have loads of my sticks to satin ribbon, it's not all clogged up in that little case now. It's got it. Yes, it's kind of sporadic in there, but I can see it. I like it that way. If you wanted to have little Totally Tiffany separator compartments that would fit in there, you can do that. I like to see that array of the, um, the actual ribbons. Then I've got my Crafter's Companion glitters down in this side as well. But they're still, yes, it's fallen down into the base of this panel here, but there's still loads of room that you could be putting more stuff if you want. Then what I've gone in for the next layer is I like to have my own, uh, my 
uh, craft iron for my flour forming. I've got my hot glue gun, my wipes if I need, and I've got my key, alcohol proof, my waterproof, and my, uh, uh, my water marking pad down into here. If the inks were to ink, if the inks were to leak, then it's wipeable. And the same goes for this bottom compartment. The one that zips off, what I've got is I've got a number of my blending tools, my rectangle ones. I've got a load of the foam as well. Half of them have already been inked and colored. The other half are like brand new. So you could, of course, if you wanted to keep the new and the color ones separate. But even though these have got ink on them, it doesn't matter if I was to get this one ink, it's only this one compartment, but then I can come along with my wipes and then wipe it, even just a damp cloth, so you're good when it comes to that. I haven't even popped anything in this top part yet, and I haven't even popped anything in my front panel here. So when it comes to my Totally Tiffany, I have all my key Crafters Companion products and tools that I need. Now with this, I've got everything compact, my ink pads, my embellishments, my additional things that I like. So instead of having them over a few different cases, I've now got them all in one. So this can stay in the green room because obviously I've got my other stuff, my own stuff at home. But this can then come from our green room onto set here when I'm going to be down at Hobby Maker in a couple of weeks. That's going to come with me, my totally Tiffany. You might have the actual match and storage that George was showing you earlier. So it's so nice, it's handy, it's sturdy. You'll see the stitching. If you are wanting to have an idea as the stitching of these, Go and have a look at your tote cases, your craft bags that are the same design. It's the same quality that you're going to find with all of your other ones that are matched in here. Double zips as well. Extra, extra strong when it comes to the tabs too. So you know from past collections, it's pure quality. And I know we had a laugh and a joke with George earlier on about the zips going all the way around. But that's so important because then it means that it folds out. Yeah. You know, and there's nothing worse than you have the zips that end just as it's a way to go and around the bottom corner. It causes so much, yeah, I'm it does. the word right out of my mouth. It, takes, it puts pressure onto the zips. Absolutely. It absolutely does. So that one I'm then going to be using for that. For then this one here, because I'm lucky enough I was uh, gifted two of these ones. So as I said earlier on, my mum, she's going to get the other one. And with this one, what I've done with this one is my medical needs. So many of us nowadays, for whatever reason, whatever medical situation that we are in, we then need to come along and we need to take stuff with us. Now, I was actually thinking, because I was reading the comments, forgive me uh, the gentleman's name from Orlando, and I was thinking, right, I love theme parks, theme parks. I need to take medical stuff with me. Is it in a bag? Is it in a hold all? What is it in? If it's something like that, if you've got kids, you've got a buggy, you've got a pram, it's going to hook onto there. Or if you're just taking your accessories of juices, etc., etc., you know, no one's going to question what's in it. You know, and actually, that's a really good point as well, is if you do go through things like the x-ray scanners and that, you're not going to have any issues whatsoever. Yes, you've got the metal bits, but you've all got the safe parts, the zips, the hooks at the top, so it can hook on or it can actually sit on. So you've got a really nice soft grip at the top here. Not only is it a grip, but then what it is as well, it's kind of like a bit of a, a suction plastic, so therefore you're not going to damage any of your uh, wood or your mount wood or anything around the doorways or anything that you're hooking it up with. So you can then do different uh, sections. Not going to go through uh, what's in each individual one because we don't need to. However, there's a reason that I've got that in that one, a reason I've got them in there, a reason that I've got them in there. I've not even filled that yet. But then I can then go from my car where this is going to stay in the boot of my car and I don't have to have it sitting in a bag in the green room, which isn't nice for, you know, uh, all the guys and girls here. As much as supportive as they are, and they do not give a monkeys about any stuff that we store in the green room ourselves, it just means that it's nice, it's pretty, goes from a car into here if I need, the restroom, changing room, anything like that. Still goes on the road to me, a hobby maker, back home in Scotland, whatever it is, I've got it there. And it's so nice, We're not just for your crafting, medical accessories, medical equipment, medical uh, medication, but then new babies. Maybe you just like your electronics and you're a gamer or you like your iPad. For instance, in actual fact, what this would be good 
for me is when I was in the hospital, so I could have had my iPad, I would have then had my little kind of like laptop mm -hmm. thing that I do Microsoft Word and typing and that sort of stuff. With the chargers, I could have had my battery bank, all of the chargers to go with all the different ones, the chargers for my phone. So that would have been good for that sort of thing. It's compact. It could have sat on uh, the windowsill of my uh, my bed in the yeah. bay or when I was in the side room or the little units that we get. I know hospitals are different stateside, but the little units that we've got, it can hook, hook on the door, the bathroom door. It's just so, so good. So in, in actual fact, have a think of that. Think of someone, you might actually be fine, but think about maybe someone in your family that has issues that's maybe going into the hospital. Uh, many of you do know that obviously I've still got to have a little bit of time off in the future still to have my operation. So then therefore it's going to come in handy for when I need to have that. So maybe a nice little gift just to say, no, going through a tough time, but here's something nice and refreshing and floral for you. Keep your bits in it. No one's going to question. When I came in today without telling George and Georgina, both of them said, that they wouldn't have been able to tell, they would not have known what was in that. I know now it's kind of mm. um, it's it's kind of obvious. It's like yes, Craig, you can't see. But the point is, you would not be able to tell it was anything medical whatsoever. And as jo George said earlier on, and it was absolutely perfect. I'm going to carry that word whenever I have these in future shows. If you are using it for medical needs, it's the dignity. You're not going to lose the dignity of having whatever you need in a little carrier bag or just a little scruffy bag or something like that. It's nice and it's on trend. It really is. Uh, loads of love for these queens today. Uh, Tia's asked, can you put A4 in the storage? A what, sorry? A, just A4 in general. A4, A4, just like an A4 pad or something. You well, you, you, can't, you can't put your A4 plates in. No, so, so down, you, can, you may I struggle. I wouldn't have thought your card stopped, but we can have a look. The good thing with us being live is we can do that. Let's have a look. And so I can go, go to that last one. So we could. Now, do you know something? You might, at a push, you, you might find you're going to get a little bit dog-eared. Mm, no, maybe, mm, no. I wouldn't, if you were to, let's be honest, if you were to bend your cardstock, yes, but then you're going to get it all dog-eared and that. So I would an A5 card, 8x8 card stock, anything like that, absolutely. George said watercolour in, cut your card down, yes. A4 or letter size, no. It would just fit, but it's going to be dog -eared. Do you know what we were saying earlier about, you, if you take this front bit off here and putting stuff on that bit, yeah, because if you've got a little poly pocket or something like a little protective wallet, would that work or is it going to crease it? So, yes, it would. Yep, that would work. You're not going to get lots of it. What I would say, though, as well, the only thing that you need to be aware of, which, yeah, that would work absolutely fine, George. The only thing, keep an eye out of the pressure of what you've got packed in them. If they're going to be bulked out, then you're going to bend and you're going to buckle your cardstock. So it's not, we're not here saying it's going to fit your A4 cardstock and your letter size cardstock, because it's not. If you find a way of using your smaller card and that, go for it. Keep in mind, it would fit your A4 just, but it's going to absolutely dog ear the ends of your card. So I wouldn't do it. If you did A5 card, A5, that... not a problem. Yeah, not a problem and whatsoever. You your A4 and a half. You've, yeah. you've got it there. Uh, a lot of love coming for this band. A lot of you asking. Oh, I wish there was a, a masculine print. And I use that in inverted commas. I've said it. Yeah, I've said it. Everyone's here saying, Darlene on Facebook, a man's print would be great. Leslie, I wish they would make a more manly tote bag. I mean. Personally, I would like a more yeah. manly bag. I wouldn't use the floral or the leopard print, a uh, uh, GH print. I mean, I would, okay, I will, because I'm going to use it because it's a brilliant bag. However, pers I wouldn't, the personal preference of no, me, no, guys, exactly, I want yeah. a, new, a black. So, guys, the thing is, Georgina, I can hear her typing as we speak. Yeah, she's writing that email for you. Because that's what we want to do as well. We want you to know. Well, I only listen. plan on doing it where we've got our product uh, development coming up. Just, I think it's still a couple of months yet, where as many of you all will know the situation, where a couple of times, two, three times a year, what we can then do is everyone in the whole company from higher up all the way to our incredible cleaners that we've got there, everyone gets to pitch any ideas that they've got. And that is one that I'm going to be doing when it comes to our storage, anything like that, it would always be nice as well to have a, um, a, a more masking. Because yes, be honest, I'm, you're not going to see me going up and down the high street or that with these in my arms. Let's be honest with you. 
but if I had more of a masculine one, I would mm -hmm. be more inclined then to put my, my smellies, my deodorants, that sort of stuff. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, yes, they're going to do the job and they're going to be perfect for me, but I would absolutely prefer a masculine yeah. one, and that is going to be put to the team. Absolutely, and there will be, and there'll be people out there, ladies, who will be a, a more neutral. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely There's yeah. some ladies out there that would love a more masculine one, so yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Katie on YouTube, I received one from Crafters Companion, posted the story on Facebook. I couldn't agree more that the case is perfect for hospital, for travelling with medical supplies, for being on a plane. Perfect. Perfect, it is yeah. Indeed. Is that Katie Easel? It just says Katie on YouTube, just, I presume. Uh, yeah. I'm presuming, it, if it is then uh, Katie, if not, then Katie Easel, I'm sending you lots of love, we all are. I know you've been really unwell with, um, well, as you're very open as well with bowel issues and that as well, so sending lots of love to you, because I know you tagged me in a Facebook post the other day. And anyone else that's feeling a bit under the weather or that, we're sending love to you all. Here, here. It's not very nice at the minute, it's is not, it? It's not, isn't it? But, no, but hey, uh, we're getting through it. Guys, loads of deals for you and options. Um, Remember this brilliant vintage butterfly collection that launched literally days ago and you've fallen in love with it. Look at it. It's beautiful. Uh, uh, the vintage butterfly collection, the dies, the stamps, the paper, the vellum, the cards, the ribbon, the brads, the lace and the cha charms. The charms, yeehaw. Uh, the charms are here for you. £152, £8589, $9.80. Right on, cowboy. <laughs> Woody's round up. Uh, again, embossing folders. There's so much within this collection that you're going to love every single time. There's other bundles available on the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu, uh, where you can get the extra paper pads, the extra vellums, extra 8, 12 by 12. But look at this. I mean, you've all fallen in love with it, and we all know mm -hmm. why, because Craig, it's, I think it's one of the best launches, best collections we've had in such a long time. You know something, and of course I'm going to say that and I'm going to agree with you as well. Many of us did say as the lead up to this launch and we thought that you at home, you've, you've absolutely proved that, that this has been one of the biggest launches. Apart from the Easter collection, this is the main first Sarah Signature launch of 2022. So this is why it is a big one and it is on a big scale of towards the night before Christmas, but within the butterfly. So yes, it's easy for us to say it every time a collection comes out, you at home, you've proved in just a few days, uh, well, what's it? Yeah, it is a few days, isn't it? Yeah. Only launched earlier on this week how successful it's been. So um, well done and getting your hands on. And the funny thing is as well, majority of you have been going for the big, big bundle with the extra paper pads and it just goes to show how much you love it you know again the quality and that we don't need to go to because you already know but you know the sheer value it is a considered purchase absolutely it is here in the uk we've got the luxury of uh, clear pay or open pay i get them both mixed up but you know we've got that option here in the uk but it's nice to see that you're taking advantage of the saving because you know you're just as well if you if you can reach to it and afford to it Go for it. But here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to go in with an opulent edge here. Yeah. This is now focusing once again on our vintage butterfly. So I've gone in with our patterned paper pad, which is a six by six, and I've cut this down to five and a half by five and a half. And if you like to do your corner folding, your tea bag folding on your cards, anything like that, your origami, it's a nice collection to do this with, with it being double sided. But what we can do is mat this onto a black and then I'm going to pop this straight on to our craft card, which is a card blank that I've made into five, is it six by six? Yeah, six by six. I've made it into and what I want is the opulent edge I want that to be kind of like the crown and glory along mm -hmm. the top so instead of doing it straight on the seam of the card here which would work it's going to make it stand out what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you that if you're limited in size whether it's die cutting machines whether it's ability whatever it is whether it's a beginner what I want is to do is show you how you can still get the opulent edge kind of crown at the top without actually having to cut into the back of your card. And that is by simply doing it separately. So I've got my base layer good to go. So we're going to go in with our uh, craft and black card. And I've cut this six by four inches. So I'm going to go along and it's six inches because that is the width of my card. And I've kept it 
at four inches in depth only because uh, at least I've got scope to play with. I might yeah. cut it shorter, but I can decide on that afterwards. So I'm going to do that in Craft George. I've got the same size in the black and I'm going to do exactly the same. Then we can go back and we can then start to attach it to the back of the car. Absolutely. Uh, Christy on Facebook, I ordered the basic collection and I can't wait to play with it. And there is nothing basic no. about the collection. There's not, it's, basic. it's not basic at all. It is the complete collection. You're getting everything. What we're offering you is even more yeah. pads, even more little goodies uh, that you can play with, more of the consumables. Uh, nothing basic about it. I, and Julie said, I think this collection is gorgeous. And James will say about the uh, track bags, the bags that we're saying, uh, the travel bags. Jay, that's a great idea. There are a lot of mail crafters out there. Yeah. They are indeed. You know, I, Craig, you know, it's... it's when I first came from, I was like, oh, a male craft expert. And it, it really surprised me because mm -hmm. I didn't think there were male crafters, but there is, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, there is, and there's more and more, you know, as time goes on, more and more guys are um, coming into the roles of experts. And I say it loosely because, you know, I'm always learning on a daily basis. I learn from the team here, I learn from you guys at home, but it's nice to be in this position. You know, and we don't need to go down the road. We know nowadays men like women's styles, women yeah, like yeah. men's style. We know that. We don't need to go down that road. However, if we stick with it kind of the traditional way, yes, we've got these patterns that are very, uh, that work well for the ladies. Yes, a lot of men would like them, but there will still be some men and some women that are like, I would much rather uh, a neutral kind of design, whether it's colour or whether it's pattern. And you tell us, whether it's Leanne herself, whether it's like myself and George and Georgina, we feed it back. I know Georgina will feed it back as well. I'll feed it back. You know, it's not just one of us will do it on your behalf. You know, we're all part of this there. So we'll all, when the time comes, we'll put the idea through. So then Leanne and product development, including Sarah and that, they'll see, oh, there's obviously, uh, there, there's a want. There's a need for that sort of designer product. So they'll look into it. So we'll do that. Very exciting. It is. And it's good that we can do that. And it's just as an FYI, I can't remember what day it is, but I am back on with Leanne in our new scheduled craft chat and create. It's either during next week or the week after. So if you do think of mm -hmm. any it, like, additional little ideas, save them and get them into Leanne on the day. I'm on a show with Leanne soon. Oh, yeah. I have my, my first one. Oh, it's next Wednesday. Real, I love being on with no, Leanne. No, that's not my life. Her launch with Leanne. It could be, could be scary. Oh. Who knows? Uh, all the mini memories. Oh, can I speak out loud? Um, ruined it. Ruined it for you. Oh, don't tell anyone. I won't let you anyone know. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, guys. We'll be fine. Shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, if you are going, new schedule. What? What are you on about? Yes. Brand new schedule starting Monday. Uh, nothing in the afternoon or the evening is changing. It's our morning shows. Uh, we've, we've known we've been doing it for a month now and we're going, actually, let's do three hours more crafting, more chain, more impact, more fun, yeah. uh, more concentrated. However, every morning we're kicking off at 10 a.m. now here in the UK. Let me do some maths. 5 a.m. over on East Coast, 2 a.m. Pacific time uh, for Wake Up Call slash Craft chat and create. So we're doing a three hour show. Uh, again, you know, three hours of wake up call, uh, of craft chat and create, three hours of crafting fun for you. It's all here for you, the brand new schedule. Uh, 10 a.m. until one, 5 a.m. till 8 a.m. and 2 a.m. till 5 a.m. Uh, there it is for you guys. That is the brand new schedule starting on Monday. I'll be kicking everything off on Monday morning at 10 a.m. here in the UK. Uh, look forward to that. But everything else, it's the exact same. And just to say, unlike when we said about the February schedule, mm. our new February schedule, we're not saying this is our new March schedule. This, as far as we are concerned, we've ironed out all the things that need looked at and yep. ironed out, and we see this as our brand new schedule for the foreseeable future. Yeah. So don't expect another change within March, uh, sorry, into April or anything like that. You know, Erin and Jenny and, and Sarah and that have made it clear that we feel we've got we've got it right now. We've got that combination yeah. level, whether, you know, with it being wake up call, craft chat and create, with our friends still coming along. We've mm. got lots of our friends coming on. So this says, as we see it for the foreseeable future, this whole day, the new time schedule, as you said, the later ones aren't changing. It's just the craft chat and create this is our new schedule yeah, absolutely. going forward. Like, like I think we're all very aware, the craft 
industry is, is different at the minute. It is. It's space changing. And we've just got to adapt to those times, haven't we? We do Absolutely. indeed. Uh, Katie's saying, thank you, Craig. Uh, just let know, Craig, that I appreciate his love and support so much. And send it right back to him too. Oh, bless you. There you are. It's, uh, yeah, it's not any, any illness is not nice. And I get some people that have been not well mm. uh, for whatever reason and they'll say, oh, gosh, great, you know, I've not been well. But it's not to the extent of someone like yourself and mm. that. Do you know what? It doesn't matter what illness it is, you know, it's, it's horrible to have one. Yeah, of course. And you all suffer in your own way. Yes, obviously, uh, Crohn's disease, uh, colitis, any bowel issues or that, it is so hard. It is, and it's just... Excuse me, it's hell. Yeah. And people that know that, that know that's got um, anyone in their family. So, yeah, it's not nice. So, sending love to you all or just anyone that's going through a tough time illness wise. We're all sending our love. And this is what crafting's about relaxing, chilling, enjoying. And if we can make you laugh, that is the main thing. And maybe inspire you, you know, do it together. Absolutely. And hey, if you can get a few bargains as well, well then. That's the main thing, isn't it? Bonus. Really, absolutely. So what I've done there is instead of cutting straight into the back of my card blank, I've created my own panel. Now, I could have shortened that a little bit if I wanted to, but I was absolutely fine keeping it the way it is. I could come with an insert or another piece of craft card to finish decorating it off. I could cut, cut another one and maybe craft card or ivory and reverse it underneath to make it pretty. You've got lots of scope there, but this is now elongating your card. It's giving you that opulent edge, but we've got it on the top without actually affecting the aperture part of your card. So now that that one's done, we're going to come into a lot of people's favorites. And there's something about a perforated line mm -hmm. I absolutely love. Something you can actually tear off is so satisfying. Yeah. And that's what we've got when it comes to these ones here. It's really satisfying to then be able to uh, actually tear them off. So I'm going to go in with this one onto craft card and let's tape it down. Oh, I've lost, oh, there we go, found it. Oh, I don't know, looks a bit dodgy. I'm going to wait a little bit. Oh no, we're all right, we're fine, we found it. So I've got that one and let's go in tell you what let's use part of this one yeah so let's go in with a bit of craft as well and then let's do kind of this top half and then we can see what we'll come out with and I'll just do them for the time being and we can run this one through running it through these sort of ones the little tags and the tabs they're going to go through your mini and that I know I say it a lot but it's always nice just to point out which dies from the collections are going to go through your really small ones. Yeah, absolutely. So we can take these ones out. So we've got one of our ticket stubs there, and then we've got another one here. And so we've got this one here, although I'm not going to use this one because it's not the full one, but I can use it to show you how. Oh, so satisfying. Imagine being a kid who loves tickets. Yeah. Who loves tarot, you can give them a little, uh, a little mini, have make their own little uh, tickets. Exactly. Oh, it's so cute. I remember years, when, when I was little, mm. when I was really little, I mean age-wise, I don't mean height-wise, because yeah. it was not that long ago I was little. But I remember when you used to go on the bus and, you know, the conductor yeah, would get the yeah. ticket and, you know, it would print out as an actual ticket. Yeah. And there was a few of you, it would be quite long. Yeah. It's like when you used to go to the arcades or that and yeah. you used to win the tickets and then it would just spit out. Oh, I loved that. Yeah. I used to have the, little, the, the mini post office. You know the mini post office, all the stamps in, like it was a letterbox that you turned into a yeah. post office. I had one of those, all the little envelopes and stamps and everything. Yeah. And, yeah. and to get a little bag of Haribos, you needed about 10,000 10, yeah, tokens. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. You did indeed. I know. Happy uh, days. Back then, the parents were like, no, not more money. But yeah, see? It's the memories, isn't it? The memories. It's the memories. Memories. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to take in this butterfly yeah. and let's go in with a stamping platform. Now with this butterfly, you've got that full stamp, but then what we've also got is two dies. So it mm -hmm. can actually be an edgeable if you want, left hand side or a right hand side. What I'm then going to do is let's come in and we're not going to have time to colour this. So what I'm only going to do is I'm only going to stamp the side I want. 
If I had time, what I would have done, George, is stamped it all out, used one of the dies to cut part of it, and then I would have used, believe it or not, dark red blend and ice blue mm -hmm. blend to colour. The other thing I would have done is used my gold embossing powder, yeah. but I don't have time, so I'm going to use my pebble. Let me go that side. I'm going to use my pebble alcohol proof. You could have used your rustic brown if you want, but let's stamp this one out. And then for speed, instead of using the die, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fussy cut it quickly with my scissors. Okay, okay. And then we can start to layer this card up. Absolutely, we've got loads to get through the last 20 minutes. I can't believe the time has I know, it's like, flown in. Hasn't it just flown in like a butterfly? Uh, we've got to do demo of the show and we've also got to do demo of the day as well. Uh, some great designs. Uh, Craig, you may see one this morning. I uh, did. He obviously won in Soft Side Life and then Craig's card, one of Craig's demos will win today. And then who knows? Who knows? Becky did make a lovely Easter bunting. Did she? Mm, did look good. Hot contender. It is a very good contender. Uh, Fred on YouTube, Fred's 171 YouTube, that stamp is the size of a lunar moth. It's huge. Is that? No, there's not moths that size. I hope not. I don't like them. I mean, there's plenty in my wallet, but that is... Um... I know you said earlier on some of them can be pretty. They can't. Moths can be. Not moths. Yeah. No. Um, no. But that can't be the size of a real-life moth. You never know in some of these uh, countries abroad, you might get huge ones. I had an, I had an owl nearly really crash into my car there last night. You're no way, you're joking. Yeah, I was driving and this owl just appeared out of nowhere. I was like, hey, owl, get out of the way. He crashed into my car because he was flying alongside me and then decided to do a little sharp turn right. It's like, no, Mr. Owl. That's scary. No. Did you say it like that, did you? It's me and birds. I, I don't know what it is about me and birds. I. I I, I don't think birds like me. I like birds. But you just have an issue with birds. They just don't like me. I don't, I don't know what I've ever done wrong to birds. The pigeons, just... are pigeons, they always pull me. Seagulls, they steal my ice creams. Oh, we're talking about the birds with wings? Yeah, what well, do you... Stop ah. it. <laughs> me, I'm a ladies man. I'm not, I'm not. I'm, not, um, I'm so far from it. It's no, like... Pigeons, I, I get what you're saying, the yeah. pigeons and stuff. Oh, yeah. In certain places, I tell you now, pigeons have tattoos. They are hard little birds. Now, the, the right side of me should not involve Dundee again, but I've heard about this. some of the pigeons in Dundee, let's just say, yeah, you would think that they've got like tattoos and yeah. that. Oh, yeah, in the city square of Dundee outside of uh, the Caird Hall. Oh, yeah. And what about the poultry? The <laughs> <laughs> uh, waka waka. Uh, it's Dundee, isn't it? Well, I've actually never been to Dundee. You, and, and I started to say this the other day, and there were everyone in my ear were like, yeah, yeah, you're backtracking. I know, obviously, what I said, if you didn't, go back the other day. But the, the front of Dundee, because it's had millions spent over the last few years, we've got the v &A, uh, now, mm -hmm. we've got our new train station, we've got the hotel, we've, got, uh, we've always had the Discovery ship and that. We've got uh, Slesser Gardens, where we get actual concerts now. And I believe it's got the OK to have a sports arena built. So it, it is improved. It is a nice city. We just need more decent shops. The Beano comes from Dundee, yeah. doesn't it? Yes, yeah, right. a couple yeah. of big statues uh, yeah. just outside uh, the city square where Caird Hall is, just further down oh, a bit. Yeah. Big fan of Beano. No, Fred171 on YouTube, they are not that big. Yes, you, you're lying to me. Yes, George, they are that big or larger. Right, let me, let me Google a lunar moth. Lunar moth. Lunar moth. Jeez. That's... I wouldn't be surprised <gasps> if... Oh, it is quite a pretty moth. Is it pretty, is it? I just don't I mean, find... that's not a bad little moth. That is a huge... It is green. That is, look at the size of that moth. You can't see it there, but that is like a radioactive, huge, isn't it? moth. It's massive. Google a lunar moth, guys. Just wow. Uh, who's this? Who's commented in? Uh, where has it gone? There it is gone. Four holiday designs. Uh, I just had a small white owl sitting on the top of my mango tree the other day, waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. A lot of things to digest in that conversation there. <laughs> uh, number one, mango tree. 
Number two, owl on top of the mango tree. Uh, again, I, I love I love it when you just drop people just say things. They go, hang on a minute, backtrack five backtrack, seconds. Backtrack, backtrack. Five words here. Uh, Katie on YouTube, I love that lace. Those antique-ish butterflies. They are a little bit antique-ish. Yeah. The news about tea staining on the coffee, and wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Go for that. Yeah. Bring in. You know, I know we've got things such as our what our reactive ink pads, pigment ink pads, but then have a look at what you've got around the house as well to do your uh, staining, whether it is, of course, your coffee granules. You might like your filter coffee, so before you bin your coffee, what you could then do is uh, use it, soak it, start to colour, distress the edges of your card, same with tea bags, etc., etc. So, sorry. yeah, so do that. Jean just went Google silk moths. Sub moth. Silk, as in like silk. Uh, uh, I, you, do you know what you sounded like there? Uh, it sounded like, do you remember um, Home Improvement? Yeah. Home Improvement with Tim the Toolman Taylor, Tim yeah. Allen. Uh, That's what you sounded it's got like. little eyes. They do look a little bit cute on the little face. You wouldn't want that in your shoes, would you? Like a speed I'm coming at me full stop. I just, I don't find any moths pretty They just turn to dust. They do though, don't they? You know, if you go with your slipper or your hand and go like that to them, they just disintegrate into dust. Female Hercules moths grow up to 14 inches across Caroline White. What, Hercules? When did this become craft chat and <laughs> moths? Uh, female Hercules moths. Female Hercules. No way, shut up. Is there? Oh, these are massive. Oh my goodness. Holy. That wouldn't be turned to dust. That'd be turning you into dust. Is it big? Is it? Look at that. Look at that, Craig. No, you're alright. You're okay. Look at his size no, you're okay. Hand. No, you're okay. Look at it. No. It's not that I'm scared of them. I just. I, I, they give me the heebie jeebies. If I was a celebrity, I wouldn't do good. And I, I'm a celebrity, it's the one one that I wouldn't want to go in. Nope. Never in a million years. Hey, who knows what Star Wars on next? Well, you uh, know. Can you imagine? I, still, I, I would love to see her on the ascent of the uh, celebrity, celebrity Apprentice with Lord Sugar. There's still Alan, Alan, Alan Sugar. What, I think Star she, and Lord Sugar? Uh, her is one of the celebrities, yeah, contestants. I think that would be good she if that be. ever happened. Uh, all made possible by the Vintage Butterfly Collection. Right, let's do demo of the show, Craigie boy. What have you got for us? Doing some great demos today. righty -o. So we did spend quite a bit of time uh, on demos, certainly with the Vintage Butterflies. So that's why we've got the three. And, of course, we did focus as well onto the storage bags but here we go number one number two and then number three i would if i had a little bit more time start to stamp maybe the tags and that maybe add some of the split pins but do you know what i'm kind of happy as leaving it as it is at the moment so three two one three two one another beautiful card uh, right a few literal minutes on that uh, we are launching today that brand new storage bag now Hey, they look great. Uh, we're going to start off here with the floor because, guys, let's be honest, you love it. And we know why you love it because it's a great bag. We've been talking about this. Now, yes, we do bags. We do storage. We do, let me show you, we do caddies, of course. We do desktop caddies. Perfect. Great for you to have on your desktop. Perfect. Uh, maybe great for you to put in the back of your car if you're travelling somewhere. But what about when you want it to be organised? Maybe you are in your, you know, you've got a holiday home and you haven't got the space to put your big desktop tidy. Perfect, great, you know, this is how big this bag is, it can hold the Gemini Junior in it. However, maybe you have got a caravan of small size. There's not much room in caravans or you're going camping. You haven't got room to put this down. You may be a little bit wet, you don't want to get damaged. Wall space, a plenty. This is where this comes into its own because it's designed to be hung. It is designed to be on the wall, out of the way, allowing you to carry on with your crafting. You've seen the great features. If you haven't, let me remind you, that great, strong, sturdy design. Always key when you buy your luggage, you want to make sure what you've got is a great, strong uh, bag. The handles are stitched into the seams. Again, essential. 
it's very, very unlikely it's going to tear and rip because it is there for you, designed strong and sturdy. The handles are cushioned. Again, you don't want it. It's got a little bit of weight in there. The last thing you want to be doing is digging it into your fingers. These handles here are going to be able to give you that support. When we open it, I mean, we're not going to open it, actually, because look at the pocket there on the front that you've got. If we just pull that around there, I mean, you've got that large pocket, big enough to store pens in there. That'll take 12 Spectrum Noir pens in there comfortably. No arguing on that. Uh, again, you've got the Crafters Companion logo. We know how lo lovely and proud you are of being with Crafters Companion. Again, that's going to be there for you. We talked about it all night. That zip goes all the way around the outside, which means you can put your bag nice and flat and you don't want to go. You don't want to put any strain on those zips because it's there. Flip it over and you've got your bag. You can see it sits flat. It folds away comfortably. I mean, we've not even opened it and you can see there. Oh, I can see when you unlift this first flap, again, it presents itself with a great selection of storage. The hook at the top allows you to obviously hook it up. There it is. We can hook that up there. Hook it up there for you. Nice and strong and nice and sturdy. What a great, strong and secure that is. That's not going anywhere. Uh, while that's hanging there, while it's hooked up, let's have a look at a uh, demo of the show, which was number one. Number one. Number one, Craig. Thought it might be. Thought it might be. Yeah. Here we go. Number one. So I'll come and I'll wait till George. That is past. well deserved. Thank let, you. Let me I remind you uh, what our winners were earlier. Craig, you did this this morning. I did indeed, yeah. Well, do you mind what 10 each did there? So that was with our resist stamps where we went in with black and boss and powder and we went in with some water reactive. It was Oasis and Oasis Future? and uh, something blue. Lagoon and blue. Then Ocean Blue, Oasis and Ocean Blue, and then the pinky tone was magenta from your aqua pens. Lovely. Uh, demo number two was this wonderful Easter banner, uh, the Easter bunting that the wonderful Becky made earlier. That is brilliant. There's the wonderful Craig. It's a mystery hand. Ooh. That's number two. And then number three was this wonderful card that Craig's made in today's show. Uh, there you are, number three. So one, uh, the bunting, number two, all this wonderful card for number three. Uh, a few moments on that, guys. Right. Where was I? I was here looking at this great storage. Uh, I was hooking things up is what I was doing. And here we are with this wonderful uh, bag. You can see it there. Everything there is clear and see-through, which means you've got easy access to everything that you're ever going to need. Let's bring it back in so you can see it a little bit closer. Uh, guys, you're starting off here with this top panel. What a great panel this is. Again, with that zip at the top, which means you can see everything nice and easy. You know that your powders are in there straight away. Put them back. Perfect. Zip that back up. Great. That's not just the end of that top pouch. You've also got the elastic straps there. The perfect, perfect for your dye brushes, paint brushes, uh, your scissors, whatever you want, your uh, misters, pens, you whatever you want to put in there. Maybe you want to put uh, a hairbrush, straighteners. They'll all fit into there. Then let's take a look at these two identical pouches. Perfect in size, just a bit smaller than A4, but that shows you the great size that these are. They're perfect. They're going to take you in tape dispensers, glues, red liner tapes, daubers, so much within these. Your tape pens, everything's going to fit in there nice and easy, no question asked. And again, wipe clean. You can see your storage. You know what you're getting. You're going to be organised and a better crafter for it. So much within it. The last little bit, which is absolutely perfect. If you look at this little bit here at the bottom, you can see there, you can see the zip across the pouch and you can see that just there for you. However, there is a zip just running across the top of it. Now, when I've got it in one hand and I can't give it a bit of support, it's a little bit stiff. However, you won't have this problem at all because once you get off, that little bag comes off, which means you've then got a mobile, even more uh, transportable storage here. Perfect size for a pencil case. Now, a lot of you have been saying how good this is for medical supplies, which Craig you know, talked a lot about tonight. Again, this is going to give you that great access accessibility and that independence that is perfectly needed. Uh, you're going to put that in your backpacks or whatever bag you are carrying, theme parks. Maybe you go on holiday. What a great little family kit this would be. You can take this every single time you go on holiday with your family. You've got games for the kids. You've got little snacks, every colour and ends. When you go to the day, you can leave that at your hotel, your caravan, your camper van, whatever you've got. Take this in your bag. Keep first aid kits, plasters, paracetamols, whatever you're going to need, uh, forehead. Whatever you're going to need, it's going to be in there. Cowpong, let's be honest. Cowpong's definitely going there. Um, that is incredible. That's going to zip straight back onto your packet, onto your uh, storage case. Again, no less messing around. It's on there. The zip as well, I must say, just slides straight onto there with no messing whatsoever. And then pull that straight 
of course, of course, when I've done it live on the TV, it has gone where I just missed the teeth of it. Of course it does, but then again, fold that straight back, perfect, it's in there. No messing about, folds up, and you are back ready for your day, whatever you are doing. And that's the best thing. It's like you've never been there. That's what the amazing thing is. It's coming in that brilliant floral collection and it's also coming in the amazing, where have I put it, it's over here, the amazing cheetah print as well. Again, which one are you gonna go for? That is the question, the cheetah or the leopard print. But cheetah or the floral, uh, brilliant price, $29.99, $34.95. Uh, Craig, you absolutely love them, don't you? Really, really do. It's going to be so handy. So I pointed out throughout the show, but then this one here, I've packed it with my key essential embellishments, things that I need that I don't always want to have in my totally Tiffany bag. My gems, I've got my powders, my ribbons, my glitters, my heat tool, my iron, my uh, pads, my blending tools within these ones here. So if I am going to be out on the, the road or I have it and I need to take it home for whatever reason, not that I would need to, but if I did, it's easy and uh, transportable. Maybe if I am going to be down at Hobby Maker very, very soon, it's easy to take with my totally Tiffany or any of your other ones. So great for your crafty stuff. Haven't even filled the front yet or those little uh, elasticated panels at the top. And then going in with this one here, this one's going to stay in the boot of my car. So what I've done within this one is some of the medical needs that I need for uh, with everything that I've gone over, you know, certainly the later end of last year. It just means I've got them here, so whether I'm here, uh, I've got them in the car whenever I need them. So if I am in here, I can use it and have it in the green room, in the bathroom, the restroom, wherever I need to go. It's there, it's nice. No one's gonna, no one's gonna know. No one would know even what's in that one. So it doesn't matter. So you don't need to worry about, you know, uh, little bags or uh, scruffy bags or whatever you are storing it, whether it is medication, like George says, medical needs what I've done here. Um, and then you can do them in compartment. So there's, you know, a specific reason that they're in that one, they're in that one, they're in that one, not even filled that one yet. And I haven't even filled that one yet, or actually, even the front as well. So if you are using them for things such as that, then if you are going to be in uh, the hospital for, even if it's just for a couple of days, maybe a bit longer, have the essentials in there. There's nothing worse than you have to have all your smellies. For you guys, America, uh, when we say that, we mean like deodorants and, you know, perfumes or aftershaves or wax melts or those sorts of things but things that smell nice not things that smell bad but you're trying to go from your ward bed or your side room bed into the general you know shower room and you're balancing everything have all the key things here so straight from your bed to the washroom back again it's all there it's compact and if it does get wet like a shower room in you know hospitals or that do it will dry off but then it's white cleans as well inside and outside it really is. Uh, guys, great collection. Get yours. Now, demo of the day goes to number three cards we've made uh, in today's show. Uh, do you know what? I thought it might have been the bunting. Yeah. I thought it might have been the bunting, but guys, hey, that's why you guys are the experts and you vote. That's why. Uh, loads of love for today's show. Uh, have a great Friday, says Gilmore. Everyone, great show today as always. Craig, thank you for everything, thank mate. Thank you so much. When are you back next with this? Uh, right, I'm going to be back on Crafters TV on Monday. However, for you guys stateside, I'm going to be with Sarah on Sunday, 7 o'clock here in the UK, but it's 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be with Sarah. I'm let loose with Sarah for the HSN preview. So Joe's got a few days off. Ben's still off on holiday, so I'm going to be stepping in. But everyone else, you'll see me on Monday, a few days off with my mum, and then I'll be back on the Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely to see you then. I'm back with you tomorrow with Debbie Robinson. Yes, another full day of jam pack crafting, 12 p.m. here in the UK. Uh, we have got Play Your Crafts Right, 7 a.m. East Coast. It's rematch. I won last week. Will she win this week? Debbie takes it all. That is a masterclass. Guess what it's all about? Storage. It is indeed. 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. East Coast, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time. And then we're wrapping up your day with a Dreamies Takeover with a craft house. They're going to be vi joining us via Skype at 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. Pacific. I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow. Check out your baskets. Don't miss out on the storage. Uh, make sure you join us tomorrow for even more crafting. Thank you to everyone and all the team. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Toodles.